Welcome into the Jones Center in Springdale, Arkansas, as we get set to bring you another game of Arkansas Razorback hockey. Tonight we have Division I hockey for you as the Razorbacks take on the Missouri State Ice Bears, making the two-hour trip down from Springfield, Missouri. My name is Corey Porter. Alongside me is EJ Sanders on the camera tonight. Quinn Shields as they get set to announce the starting lineups. EJ, what do you think about tonight's game? It's a rivalry if you, I've ever seen one. A lot of people say, you know, we get up for Alabama. We get up for Missouri State. Uh, you know, a lot of fans in the crowd tonight. I have a buddy here that's with us tonight as well. And uh, all of these guys, I mean, everybody gets really excited about this rivalry. And the biggest thing about why it makes it so fun is the fact that they are only two hours away. So those fans, they drive down here and they make it just as much noise as some of these Arkansas fans. And it really creates a fun, fun, competitive environment in the Jones Center. Yeah, it'll definitely be loud tonight competing fan bases here uh, with this local rivalry team the ice bears come into tonight with a 13 11 and 2 record arkansas for their part is 7 15 and 1 on the year uh, these two teams uh, meeting for the first time this evening but do have quite a history oh quite the history uh, indeed i mean arkansas is 3 3 and 2 all time against uh, missouri state uh, 2 1 and 1 at home though and uh, the goals for and goals against almost dead even arkansas 30 goals for in uh, the eight games that they've played all time uh, and 31 goals against. So Missouri State with 31 goals for. As uh, that's, uh, I mean, that's about as even as a rivalry can get. And we're uh, looking forward to yet another uh, uh, good game here tonight. And we'll pause for the national anthem. Tonight, the Hogs will be wearing their white uniforms. Starting goal for them is Brock Thompson. The freshman out of Oklahoma City is 4-6-1 and one in 11 appearances this year. Opposite him is freshman Bailey Stevens starting for the Missouri State Ice Bears. He is 7-5-1. He does have two shutouts on the year, formerly of the Springfield Express Junior team, which uh, both these teams compete for a lot of recruits uh, from that team. So, uh, you know, it's sad to see a, a good freshman goaltender like that go to the other side. But, you know, Arkansas will get their recruits as well. And a, a rivalry game like this could do well to uh, try to sway some of those, uh, you know, recruits one way or the other. Yeah, two freshman goaltenders in goal tonight. And Bailey Stevens with that 2-8-9 goals against average and 9 2 0 save percentage. Uh, you know, he's got the stats that might back up the play. We'll see here tonight if Arkansas can get a couple past him. And we are set for face off at center ice. It's going to be Stovall in to take it against Brendan McClue. And Stovall wins this back to Sean Foster. Foster carries it up to the red line, tries to dump it off the boards. It's broken up at the blue line. Arkansas will just chip one in and chase it down. Picking up behind his own net is Schumacher. He's got a man checking on him, but he'll skate it out himself. Across the blue line, sends a pass ahead, just ahead of the stick of, of Bell as he chases it behind the Arkansas net. Puck tied up in the corner. Arkansas does get a stick on it, fans on it. It's going to be kicked into the corner. Still a fight for it there as Bell puts a sopping move, tries a backhand centering pass, broken up. Shot goes wide. Kovacic sends one down low. Foster getting in the way of that, putting Bell up against the boards. Kovacic in there with Stovall trying to pick it out. Tying this up, the referee keep a close eye on it as this puck finally does come into the air and comes out picked up by Schumacher. He's at the goal line, tried a centering pass, bounce off of his stick. He'll cycle one back for Kovacic behind the net, tried to send it to McClue. That's Foster getting in the way once again. Arkansas trying to break out, having some trouble as this one 
Comes bouncing in front of the Hogs net, picked up by Stance. He's pushed off the puck by Kovacic. He does fall down on top of it. Presents, uh, prevents Kovacic from getting a centering pass. Finds his man in front as Bratton couldn't handle it. And the Missouri State Ice Bears get a shot from the blue line. Goes wide. Picked up by Stans there. Foster plays it along for Stans. Now to Howes. Tries an outlet pass for Haddock. This one is going to go all the way down for icing. As they do call it off now, the Hogs able to get a change with 18.30 left here in the period. Missouri State trying to break out of their own zone. Arkansas trying to get in the way of that. As the Ice Bears finally do break out as Bratton has to retreat back into his own zone. He sends it near side now. This is Brown. He's got it up the left wing boards. Tries a pass way ahead. An offside man has to be cleared for the Missouri State. 18-12 here. Arkansas with a lot of room to work. That one hit the back of the leg of Brown as the outlet pass stays in the zone. And Barrett is just going to dump it deep. And Morrison takes it there for the Hawks. He's got Thornton on him. Morrison comes away with it. He's going to try it up the right wing boards. Left-handed stick. Makes a move around a man, cross a red line, dumps it off the boards, looking to make a pass to himself, but getting in the way of that one nicely was Heiserot. He'll send it all the way down the ice. Brock Thompson will put a stick on the puck. His first action of the night kept in at the blue line, but the linesman says no. It comes out for an offside. 17-40 left here in the first period, a scoreless game. The uh, early uh, push here by Missouri State, they've looked very good in the early going of this game, doing a good job cycling the puck in the Arkansas zone, uh, really putting the pressure on the Arkansas players. A couple of mistake, mistakes by Arkansas here early, but uh, none capitalized on for the Ice Bears. And the Hogs win the faceoff back. Morris sends it cross ice near side now. This one is sent all the way down the ice, slows it down enough just to get the ice and called off as Fuller picks it up for the Ice Bears. He's going to send one up the right wing boards. Outlet pass is tipped ahead but picked up by Davis. He carries it into the zone. Tries a centering pass. This one gets out to Fuller, bounces off of his stick, and he'll have to dump it deep as the Razorbacks chase it down there. He's got Lounder on him. That was Morris with it. Sholin now gets an outlet pass. Now to Madsen, tries to get it out of the zone, had trouble with it. Still having trouble with it as Lounder picks his pocket. De La Guardia is going to come back the other way with it. Sends it off the boards to Matson. He's going to put it in deep and chase it down with Heiserot beating him to the puck. He lays it off for his man there. It's sent up the left wing boards. Carried out now. Into the zone by Lounder. He's being forced off the puck. Dumps it deep into the zone. Picked up by Stans. Kovacic back out on the ice. Dangerous player there for the Ice Bears. Picks the puck out of the corner. He's going to tie it up there. Send it low for McClue. He's got it behind the net, tried to make a move around Haddock. Excuse me, that's Foster. And Foster with the outlet pass off the skate of Pellegrino. Wilson's just going to dump it in deep for the Hogs. He'll chase it down there, gets a stick on the puck, makes a stopping move, centering pass, back in shot in front. Blocked down nicely by Johansson. Arkansas does keep it in the zone, tries to make a move around a man. And this one is going to be sent ahead to Bell as Missouri State breaks out of the zone. Bell up the left wing, tries to make a move, takes a shot. This one was gloved in front. And it's going to be a hand pass, but Arkansas touches up. To avoid that, Pellegrino is going to pick it up in the corner for the Hogs. 16 minutes here in the first period. This one flipped up above the head of Wilson. Didn't see it coming as Schumacher makes a spin move behind his own net. He'll set up shop there with Salmon waiting patiently for the breakout. Missouri State carries it out of their own zone. Getting in the way of that, though, nicely was Landon Howes, and he's just going to dump it back deep into the zone, chased down by Haddock. Johansson gets a stick on it first. And they're going to try to send it out. Kept in at the blue line. This one's set in front. A nice job to break up that centering pass by Schumacher as Arkansas controls it on the right wing boards. And they send it down low. And a fight for it on the near side now. Puck still in the zone as Missouri State finally gains control. Sent out of the, out of the zone by Bratton. But Kovacic couldn't handle the puck. This one back into the zone. Flipped out. Haddock now with it. Excuse me, Foskey. Cross ice to Landon Howes. But just off sides as Haddock was trying to clear the zone. 15-15 left here in a scoreless first. Pretty good start here uh, for uh, both teams, really. I mean, Missouri State getting the good rushes early, but Arkansas has countered here of, of late. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about Tristan Wilson getting his first two goals uh, a couple weekends ago, uh, ago of his uh, young Hogs career. Hope to see him continue that. Uh, this weekend he's had a couple of good shifts here early. Arkansas wins the ensuing faceoff, but this one is kept into the zone. Bratton sends it to the corner. Now back to the point held by Smith. He's going to send it down low once again. Shot played out in front. Kick save. Rebound. Comes back out. Held now by Brown. He's going to dump it into the corner. He was looking for Bratton, but that puck goes well ahead of him as Morris ties it up in the corner. Brown along with him. And it's going to be sent back to the point once again to Smith. Gets a shot away. Deflected in front. Couldn't get through the traffic. That rebound bounced right back out in front. 
but Missouri State couldn't get a second chance on it as Arkansas breaks out of the zone with Delisle. He gets the puck into the zone, leaves it for Brown. Brown's got a man far side, shot just wide of the net on the one-timer. And this one comes out to center ice as Arkansas is trying to get the puck back in. And they go to make a change. That was Gratisar on the shot scene his first ice time tonight. And he's the one chasing the puck in the corner as Heiserot sends a backhand pass. Madsen gets a quick shot. Rebound was there on the turnover. Another turnover as Young picks this one up. Takes it out. Centering pass. Gratisar tied up in front. Couldn't get a stick on it. Missouri State coming back the other way up the left wing boards. Carried in by O'Brien. Makes a move at the blue line. Leaves it from McClue at the circle. Takes a shot just high of the corner. He picked his spot and just missed it. Dumped down deep by O'Brien. The Hawks going to gather it there. This is Stans being pressured by Perrin. And Arkansas sends it up the right side boards. Outlet pass. Bounces off with some skates. No icing on the play. Being chased down by Heiserat. He sends it far side. This one sent out of the zone, broken up by Foster. He'll send it off the near side boards. Just past the stick of Scholin, a quick shot from center ice is stopped by Brock Thompson. And this one is played to the side boards. 13-29 left here in the period as Matson tries to get it out of the zone. He does, but it's taken over once again by Missouri State. Perrin gives it up to Scholin. Steps out in front, being sheltered off the puck. And this one finally poked away by Hazarat. But Scholin gets a rebound back tied up in his skates. Couldn't gather it in, and we're going to have a penalty called here. It's going to be a hook on Missouri State, and Arkansas will see their first power play of the night. This is going to be an important one for Arkansas. They need to establish, uh, you know, the, their game right here, and their game is a really good power play, really, uh, honestly. I mean, they play against really good penalty kills in the WCHL, uh, so to even have the power play that they have uh, in this game is uh, is quite, quite phenomenal. They're going to look to get Gratisar open in the high slot. Missouri State is 78% on the penalty kill this year. Arkansas, just 10% on the power play. They do get a lot of shots, and they'll look to do so here as they control the puck on the near side boards. This one comes out, a shorthanded chance if Bell can beat Haddock to the puck. He takes a quick shot. That was Foskey chasing it down, and a good save there by Thompson. Picked up by Gratisar. A minute 40 left here on the power play. Gratisar is going to skate it out himself. He's got Haddock far side. Makes a move in front. High slot. Toe drag. Still with it. Tried a centering pass. Gets back. To, had it, or to uh, Foskey, quick shot, blocker save. And this one is chipped out of the zone. Another shorthanded chance for Missouri State. Tried to make a move as Kovacic takes a big hit there by Foskey. They'll play it near side boards. No one home for Arkansas as Brown has to chase down the puck. He'll send it down low. Arkansas with a minute 10 left on the power play. Foskey's going to send it up to House. He holds it behind the net. Taking their time with a minute 03 left here on the power play. Carried out by Howes, cross the red line. He's going to get it into the zone, tied up along the boards, and Missouri State comes back the other way, and Arkansas caught in a change once again as Thornton was racing for the puck, but Foster beats him to it. He's got a head of steam. He's going to take it himself, cross the Missouri State blue line, below the goal line. He's finally knocked off the puck as Thornton put a body on him, and Missouri State is once again going to ice this puck. Arkansas having trouble getting set up in the offensive zone with 35 seconds left on the power play, a minute 47 in the period. Hawks flip this one into the zone. Sholin chasing it there, now picked up by Matson. He has a bounce off of his stick, however, picked up by Bratton, and he's gonna send it down the ice. This one steered aside by Brock Thompson. He's gonna leave it for Foster. 15 seconds, the Hogs may have chance, a chance for one more rush as Stovall sends it to Foster. This pass is intercepted once again by Missouri State. They're just gonna flip it into the zone. As Stovall loses an edge, Arkansas all out of sorts right now as the end of this power play finally comes. 11 minutes and 10 seconds left in the period. Back to full strength action as Chris Stovall has it for the Hawks. He stick handles, taking his time. Leaves it there for De La Guardia. He'll send it far side. Back to De La Guardia, near side corner now. The Hawks finally send it out of the zone. Pellegrino, he sends it into the zone, but this one unfortunately goes up and out of play. Arkansas did not look sharp on that power play. Not good at all, and a lot of it had to do with the spacing. It seemed like they got caught up in their own way a lot of the time. We've seen that here early in the game. I get that, you know, the nerves are there a little bit in a rivalry game uh, here at the Jones Center, but uh, you gotta you gotta keep your head about you. You gotta be ready, and you gotta uh, keep your spacing out there, especially on ice that is uh, not regulation size. His face-off was initially won by the Hogs, controlled now by the Ice Bears. And trying to break out of their zone, Barrett with it. He'll send it far side for Barrett. 
And Bratton with it now, having some trouble at his own blue line. Finally sends one ahead, but Bratton was offsides, or Barrett was offsides. And De La Guardia takes it away for Arkansas. He's going to dump it into the zone. And Pellegrino is going to chase it there. He's got Smith on him. Smith beats him to the puck. Far side boards now, back to the point. Morrison takes a quick wrist shot, got it through some traffic, but steered aside nicely by Stevens. And a fight for it now on the far side corner. And coming away with it is Brown for the Missouri State Ice Bears. This one kept in the zone. Quick slap shot, misses the net wide. And we're going to have a penalty, a tripping call on Arkansas. Well, we were just talking about Wilson earlier, and uh, he takes a bad penalty here, an offensive zone penalty. Uh, you know, freshman mistake there. He doesn't have uh, but two penalty minutes coming into this weekend, so just picks up his third and fourth penalty minutes. A good rush there by the Hawks. Good job keeping it in the zone. Uh, they're being very physical, which is something you got to like if you're Coach Galini. I'm, I mean, he doesn't preach it to his guys. We've heard that before. But, uh, you know, they take it upon themselves to make sure that they're delivering the blows and not taking them. This face-off. We'll come to the Hogs' end. 10.03 left here in the period, two minutes on the clock. Tristan Wilson's tripping penalty. Initial faceoff is won by the Hogs as Foskey tries to send it off the boards, but it's kept in. A centering pass broken up by Foskey, and he's going to send this one all the way down the ice. Good start here for the Hogs. As Bailey Stevens comes out to play the puck, he leaves it there. Josh Bell holding the puck. He'll skate it up the center of the ice. He's got Young in front of him. He sends it far side. Now O'Brien centering pass is saved by Brock Thompson. This one is still loose. Finally picked up by Bell Thompson. Finally getting back into position. As Kovacic sends it far side. A quick shot, couldn't get it through Foskey. Young with it, gets it out of the zone. And this one's going to trickle in to the offensive zone for the Hogs as they make a change. And Missouri State come, comes back the other way. Kovacic leaves it for Bell. He puts on a stopping move outside Hash. He holds it there, sends it down low. A centering pass comes back out. This is Brown with it. And he's being pressured by Delisle. Brown having to pinch in, but Arkansas gets to the puck, bounces off a man. Almost had a shorthanded chance, but a good job keeping it in the zone was Barrett. This one finally trickles out to center ice, picked up by Bell. Missouri State will try to reset. Corey Delisle being real aggressive as Bell's going to skate around him. He leaves it there for Turin up the left wing. And De La Guardia gets a stick on it and a hit there by the Hogs. Breaks up that rush and this one is chipped up and out of the zone. 35 seconds left on the Arkansas penalty. Nice job by De La Guardia there breaking up that rush. And Missouri State will try it again up the right side. Carrying it ahead is Barrett. He gets into the zone, takes a quick shot off the glass as Salmon was able to get a stick on that one. Picked up now by Bratton. He circles into the face off dot, sends it back to the point. Tries to get it back down low in front of the net. That one a quick shot. Steered aside by Thompson, and Arkansas gets this one ahead. Haddock almost chipped it down to himself with six seconds left on the power play, and Arkansas will get one more ice out of it as Stevens is forced to steer that one to the sideboards. And back to full strength, eight minutes left here in a scoreless first period. Missouri State controls the puck behind their own net. Salmon pressuring there. Pass to the near side to O'Brien, has trouble with it, and has to regroup as Salmon. Is going to get it back into the zone. Try to centering pass, but missed Pellegrino. Intercepted by Johansson. And he'll send it off the boards. Arkansas breaks it up at the blue line. It stands. Gets the puck back into the zone. And Missouri State has a man hopping off the ice. And they'll control it in their own zone. 7.30 left here in the period. Held behind the Missouri State net. They'll send it near side. Looking for Davis. Had some trouble. He does get it out to center ice. But Arkansas once again breaks up that rush. A big hit by Arkansas. But carried into the zone by Davis. Being pressured by Foster. Good, good defense there as Brown and Gratisar come back the other way. Gratisar with the puck. Tried to make a move. But a nice poke check there to break up that rush. Pellegrino is just going to dump it back in. Arkansas has to clear the offsides. They'll use that opportunity to make a change. As Missouri State controls it. Seven minutes left here in the period. Held behind the Missouri State net. Long pass ahead. Davis is going to chip it into the zone. It's going to be chased down there by O'Brien. De La Guardia beats him to the puck. Takes a body from Lounder. And it's tied up in the Arkansas corner. Finally picked out by Bell, but chipped away by the Hogs. Sent along now for Morris. He's going to take it far side. He'll skate it out of the zone himself. Try to backhand pass to nobody. And it's taken over by the Ice Bears. Held now by Heiserat. He's going to take his time once again. Missouri State likes to set up these breakouts, and Arkansas is content to just let them sit back and do so. And as soon as that first pass is made, they're collapsing on it just like that. And this time, the linesman breaks up the rush. 
as Missouri State is just forced to dump it into the zone, and De La Guardia is going to corral it there. McClue lining him up. So it's sent, intercepted by Kovacic. He'll leave it there. And a quick shot gets through traffic. Glove saved by Brock Thompson, and he holds on for the whistle. Not a whole lot of action on goal, although we've been back and forth, but that's the first real save by either goaltender tonight. Yeah, a pretty good shot there from the point. Uh, Brock Thompson, I disagree, has had to make a couple of uh, interesting saves nonetheless. Uh, he's definitely had to play the puck and be in good position for most of the night. Uh, I'll say this, uh, Arkansas knows exactly where that 2-0 is on the ice, looking for Kovacic every opportunity uh, as Kovacic has uh, had to leave the ice a couple of times already, jawing at the Arkansas players. His faceoff will be to the left of Thompson. That's Bratton in there to take it. And he'll win the faceoff. A quick shot is broken up by the Hogs, blocked down in front, and it comes to the near side boards. Arkansas does get it out of the zone, but it's going to be taken by Missouri State. This is Fuller with it. He sends it off the boards, broken up by Foskey. Arkansas gets it back into the zone, sent back the other way, carried in by Barrett. Tried to make a move, sends it outside. This is Bratton with it. He tries a centering pass, broken up, puck loose in front. Tried to make a shot from his knees as Barrett couldn't get it away. This one is sent near side for Matson as Arkansas breaks out of the zone, and we get a whistle uh, for a hand pass. That puck was not touched by the skater coming back. I don't know what he was trying to do. I mean, don't even reach back and give the referee the opportunity to say it was a hand pass, because it definitely was not. Did not hit his, uh, his glove at all, but off of that, uh, Missouri State has uh, had the better chances here uh, through the last five minutes, and Arkansas needs to get some rushes going. Face off is tied up, finally won by Arkansas. Salmon takes it out, tried to find his man up the right wing boards, intercepted, a glove save by Thompson. And he's gonna hold on, his turn was bearing down on him. 525 left here in the first period, still a scoreless game. I'd say proximity is one of those things that uh, makes people rivals, you know, Hatfields and McCoys. We have Arkansas and Missouri State here tonight. And we'll get a face off to the right of Brock Thompson. That's Salmon in there against Turin, and Turin will take a step aside. In comes Thornton for the Ice Bears. And this one does come to turn off the linesman skate. A quick shot, a kick save by Thompson as he was screened in front. Good positioning as I don't think he could see that puck. Foskey is going to gather it for the Hogs below his own goal line. He puts on the brakes, makes Turin lose an edge. And they'll send it up the left wing boards, carried out by Morrison. He'll dump it off the boards to himself, chase it down as the Hogs defense makes a change. Tied up in the corner now. In there, Salmon trying to pick it out. Turin is going to get a stick on the puck. Salmon still pestering him. And finally, it's going to be sent up the near side boards by Brown. Taken by Perrin there. Try to centering pass. Broken up by Delisle. In front, Salmon takes a shot. A stick save by Stevens. And another centering pass. Salmon tried to get it through the, skate, the skates. He did to himself. And he's holding it in the near side corner. Tries to da dance out in front with it. Had Delisle there, but it's broken up by Missouri State. It's going to be gloved down by Thornton, and he's going to send it to the blue line and out of the zone, but Delisle takes it for the Hogs. He's going to step back into the zone. High slot takes a shot, misses the net wide. Rebound is going to be taken by Pellegrino near side. Tried a centering pass, broken up nicely in front by Smith, and he's going to pick up the puck for the Ice Bears, and he's going to try to flip this one ahead. Pellegrino gloves it down. He's the first one to touch it, takes a body there from Saunders, and Missouri State dumps this into the zone, and they're going to call an icing on it, I believe. Maybe an errant whistle. Yeah, I think uh, they initially wanted to call it icing, and this linesman over here waved it off. Arkansas is going to get a face-off at center ice here. 4.09 to play in the period. Arkansas, you know, they, they've started to show some signs of life. I like that salmon line out there with Wilson and Delisle. They seem to be working things together. Uh, Delisle normally up on the line with uh, Gratisar. They may be trying to mix some things up tonight, uh, but uh, seeing Brown out there with Wilson, uh, that's a positive sign. And Brown wins a face-off taken by De La Guardia, and Brown is going to have to chase this one down at center right. Saunders steps in, takes a quick shot, misses the net on that, and it comes near side. De La Guardia is going to flip it up to the blue line, glove down by Schumacher, sent in low, tipped on net. Good save there by Thompson. And another pass intercepted, and the shot is broken up nicely by Gratisar, and it comes out in front once again. Shot right into the belly of Brock Thompson as Chad Lounder couldn't find a corner. Veteran move by Jacob Brown there. You know, most your instinct is to get down and block the shot, however hard it might hurt. But uh, instead, uh, Brown says, hey, here's the free lane to see the shot. Uh, st backs off, stays in the high slot, and lets Thompson see that one all the way into the belly. Face off to his right side, that's Stovall. In there to take it against Davis. It's gonna be tied up in the skates, finally. 
Davis gets it, tries a centering pass. Saunders gets a chipped shot on net, but that one goes just wide as Foskey's going to gather it for the Hogs. Has a bounce over his stick, though, as Davis comes in to take it, tries to take a quick turnaround shot, misses the net. It comes near side. Foster, excuse me, Howes tried to poke it ahead to himself, and another quick shot is gloved down by Schumacher. That one might have been going wide, but Thompson wasn't taking any chances. You know, Thompson, where he's struggled this year uh, is, is second and third chance opportunities. That's what Missouri State's going to have to do. These shots uh, from the slot, I mean, he's so quick. Thompson is to make those stops. It's whenever uh, you give up those rebounds out front when you shoot low on them, that's where Thompson has struggled. So if Missouri State starts figuring it out and realizes that those rebounds are there, uh, Arkansas is going to have to be a little bit better about clearing those out front and helping their goaltender out. And face off is won by McClue. Shot gets through. Blocker saved by Thompson. Shot was by Heiserot as Missouri State gets in the corner. Kovacic with the puck. He has Young on him as Kovacic gets one out in front, broken up nicely by Foskey. And he's going to send one ahead, chipped ahead to Young. He's going to dump it into the zone, chased down by Matson, And Heiserot's going to try to put a body on him, but Matson got the better out of a big hit there by McClue as he gets the puck to the right wing boards. And this one's sent far side now for Bell. He carries it in. He's got two men in front of him. Poke check in front. Nothing going there as Morris got in the way of that. Missouri State will have to regroup. Turned over. Sholin takes it in front, in the slot. Backhand move, takes a shot, missed the net. And they say it's in. What a move by Sholin. Faked the forehand shot, took it to the backhand, flipped it up and over the pad of Stevens. And Arkansas gets on the board first. Tobias Scholin, boy, this is a guy that came in a couple of years ago in the second semester for Arkansas, and we saw him immediately and liked him right away. Now, last year, he, I thought we, we thought he kind of underperformed. Uh, only had seven goals, five assists, 12 points all season long. And this year, he's had only four points, but he gets on his second goal of the year uh, and gets this, uh, gets this game going. I mean, opening the scoring for Arkansas, uh, definitely making a statement here late in the first period. That's exactly what Arkansas needed to do to to start this series off. Missouri State wins the faceoff. They'll have to chase it back into their own zone as Brown takes it there. He'll try to send it ahead. This is Davis now still on the ice. Up the left wing boards with a head of steam. Takes it below the goal line. De La Guardia pokes it away from him. And Davis is down on the ice now. Arkansas picks it out. Stovall cross ice pass. Gets it to Howes. Two on two coming back the other way. Leaves it there for Haddock. Haddock top of the circle. Makes a move around a man. Gets down below the goal line. Passed out in front. Tight spaces as Arkansas couldn't get a shot away. Morris does keep it in at the blue line. Back to Morris. He's got Foster far side. Gets it to him off of his stick. He's being pressured there. Missouri State tried to chip it out but couldn't as, as they finally do. But it's going to be gathered in by Howes. A minute 55 left here in the period. Arkansas with a one to nothing lead. This one sent ahead by the Hogs up the right wing boards to Haddock. He's going to send it off to Howes. Howes tries to make a move. Gets it below the goal line. Being pressured there. And Missouri State finally takes the puck away. They'll send it near side. Foster is going to put a body on him as this puck is loose in the Arkansas zone. It's going to be picked up by Bratton. Tries a centering pass. O'Brien gets a shot away, but he had salmon draped all over him. And the rebound comes in the near side corner. A minute and a half left. This one sent ahead to Wilson. Off the boards to himself. It's going to be poked in at the blue line. Kept in. This one turned over in front. A quick shot blocked down in front once again by Foster. Arkansas getting in these shooting lanes as Schumacher chased it down in his own end. A minute 15 left to play. Arkansas putting all kinds of pressure on him. As Wilson forces the pass near side, they'll dump it ahead into the zone. It's going to be picked up by Salmon, though, for Arkansas with a minute to play here in the first period. This one broken up by Barrett. Tied on the near side. O'Brien tried to chip it out. Puck still loose. O'Brien finally gets a stick on it. Can't get it through his skates, though. And Arkansas is going to get it out of the zone. Schumacher intercepts the pass intended for Wilson. He's going to carry it in himself. Leaves one there for O'Brien. Quick shot steered aside nicely by Brock Thompson. You mentioned those rebounds that Thompson gives up. That wasn't one right there. Yeah, nice job there steering that one uh, high and away. Uh, uh, Thompson's looks very solid on the chances tonight. And I'll say this, Arkansas is playing little brother hockey right now. I mean, they know uh, what their standing is right now in the WCHL. This program is improving, but, uh, you know, they do the, the little brother game so well where they just pester you all the time. They're going to hit you every time you enter the zone, and you can already see the frustration from the Ice Bears as Arkansas has the one-goal lead because of that frustration that they're causing this team. 40.7 seconds left in the period as Arkansas wins a faceoff. De La Guardia with it. Has it taken away by Bell? Tried a quick shot out in front off the side of the net, and Arkansas will regain this puck. They'll send it. Ahead to Gratisard. Gets a quick shot away. Missed the net on that one. 
Stevens may have got a, a piece of it with his blocker as Missouri State sends it back out of the zone with 20 seconds left. Arkansas with the puck there. Try not to turn it over in their own zone. They'll send it far side. This is Heiserat. Gets it into the zone with Bell. 12 seconds left. Tried to make a move around a man and a centering pass. Steered aside by Thompson. Held there by Morris. He sends it near side. De La Guardia, excuse me, Delisle. Just chips it all the way down the ice and just slow enough to let the time run out on this first period. Arkansas will take a one goal lead into the first intermission. Very, very good first period for the Arkansas Razorbacks. They've looked good uh, thus far in this game. I'd say that, you know, like I said, they play that that grinded out hockey very well. They're doing the things that, uh, they, you know, they call hustle plays, like blocking shots, uh, making hits, uh, getting to loose pucks, doing things like that. Now, there are some negatives out there as well. They're definitely clumping up together at times. Uh, their passes aren't near as crisp as Missouri State's. But, uh, you know, uh, you can win a game just grinding it out, and uh, that's exactly what Arkansas looks like they want to do that was the game plan at least coming out in this first period we'll see how coach Galini adjusts that going into the second period another seeming part of that game plan too is letting Missouri State have a lot of room when trying to break out of their own zone and as soon as they try to make that outlet pass to the wing sitting on the boards they got two players crashing towards that player and that's how they got that turnover right there at the blue line that Sholin was able to take that puck away and he made a nice move for that backhand goal well that goes back to that gritty style of hockey I mean four checking is definitely you know not a glamorous thing sometimes I mean you got to get into the dirty areas of the ice and uh, trust me if you look at this Jones Center ice they're pretty dirty down there in those corners so uh, it's uh, you know it's definitely fun to watch uh, this is the style of hockey that I personally want to see from this Arkansas team going forward this is the style that they're going to win with uh, you know being physical being those guys you know they've done it so long to where they've been the, the more finesse team and they've just been run over in a lot of cases in years past now no more they're, the, they're going to be the aggressor and they come out and they set the tone early and they definitely got into the heads of a couple of those really, really good players for Missouri State. We're talking Kovacic and Bell and uh, Barrett, all three of those guys. I saw them, you know, a couple of times turning around and having extra words for the Arkansas players, and that's exactly what they want going out there. It's 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 fun whenever there's one or two enforcers out there, but when you have a whole team of them, it's definitely tough to, uh, to, uh, to stay focused if you're the visiting team. So we'll take a break, about 17 minutes left on that clock while they clean the ice, and we'll come back for the second period in about that time.
Welcome back to the Jones Center in Springdale, Arkansas, as we get set for the second period of action between the Arkansas Razorbacks Division I squad and the Missouri State Ice Bears. Arkansas leads this game one to nothing, heading here into the second period. Tobias Scholin able to capitalize on an Ice Bears turnover at their own blue line, takes it in, made a nice move, and put it past goaltender Bailey Stevens. My name is Corey Porter. Alongside me is EJ Sanders. On camera tonight is Quinn Shields. EJ, what's Arkansas have to do to try to continue this momentum that they started in that first period? Be frustrating, be frustrating, be frustrating for this Missouri State team. Missouri State is very, very fast, but Arkansas so far has really outsmarted the Bears. I mean, they've done really good in the neutral zone trap, as you just mentioned, you know, getting a lot, multiple turnovers at the offensive blue line for the Ice Bears in Arkansas is uh, definitely capitalized on those opportunities. And uh, I think they can continue that here in the second period, as long as they continue to, to uh, keep their wits about them and continue to frustrate these Ice Bears. Arkansas can win this period and hopefully the game. We are set for a face-off at center ice. It's gonna be Brendan McClue in there to take it against Chris Stovall, who has not got kicked out of a face-off tonight, but he does lose this one to McClue. It's gonna be picked up by Joe Hansen. He's gonna play it ahead. Arkansas gets in the way of that one. Once again, being pestering, keeping Missouri State from advancing the puck forward. And Arkansas finally does chip it into the zone. Haddock chases it down there. But they're going to play across ice as the Bears have a man knocked off of his feet. Stovall coming out aggressive, hits another man. Centering pass, hits the skate of the Missouri State player. Johansson comes to the near side boards. Taken by Johansson, another body put on front. Stovall with it, steps out in front, turnaround shot, blocked down in front nicely by Johansson, getting in the way there. Arkansas coming out physical in the first minute of this third period, or second period, as they make another hit, keep it into the zone. Stovall, cross eyes pass to Haddock, couldn't get the shot away. Puck still loose in front. As the Ice Bears finally come away with it, Bell knocked off the puck, but it's taken by Johansson, plays it ahead to Bell, kicks it to his stick, tries to make a move around the Arkansas player, poked away nicely. But Bell regains control of the puck, sends it down low for McClue. Out front to Kovacic, takes a quick shot that goes higher than that. Haddock chips this one forward, and Missouri State regroups that center ice, sends it ahead to McClue. Tried to go between the legs of Brown, but he breaks that one up as Haddock chips it back into the zone for the uh, Ice Hogs. Missouri State controls the puck. That's Johansson still out on the ice, sends it near side. Gratisar puts a body on him. That was Smith. Back to Johansson. Up the left wing boards, Missouri State finally breaks out of the zone. They send ahead to Barrett. Barrett makes a move, high slot on his back end. He's just going to send it in, but Delisle got a skate on that one as Arkansas is going to control the puck on the near side boards. And they're going to carry it out of the zone. Gratisar cross ice pass. This one chipped up and out of play as Chris Brown was able to get a stick on that puck. 18-19 left here in the second period. Well, Kovacic, a great chance down low on the near side. Uh, was going for the glove side, trying to pick that corner. Tough angle for any shooter, but Kovacic can certainly do it. He had five goals, five assists, ten points total in four games against the Hogs last season uh, when Missouri State went 3-1 and one against the Ice Hogs. But uh, Arkansas tonight with the, with the early lead. We'll see if they can hold on. Face off, won by the Bears. Sent near side to Smith. Long cross size pass, broken up, but chipped ahead to Barrett. He tries to make a move in front, gets a backhand shot away, but O'Brien couldn't get to that puck. And sent near side, kept in at the blue line by Smith. He'll send it down low. O'Brien there, put into the boards by Foskey. Back to the point now, good control now. Brown, down low to O'Brien. This one, Foskey steps in front of it. He tried to send it to the far side corner. De La Guardia not paying attention. And Missouri State gets a shot out in front. Puck is loose, and it trickles into the net. Unfortunate bounce there for Brock Thompson. Jesse Foskey went diving to try to block that one to keep it out of the net, but they could not. Yeah, it looks like that's going to be Zane O'Brien, the sophomore forward, notching his 16th goal of the year. I'm sure he's had prettier ones than that, but they all count the same. Take them as you can get them. I mean, any anytime you can get a goal, it's a good thing. That now leads the team. He's the goals leader now for uh, the Missouri State Ice Bears. I mean, if he's here for four years, it's two more years. Arkansas is going to have to deal with Zane O'Brien. So uh, he, he definitely gets uh, in front of the net a lot better than some of these uh, other Ice Bears have so far today. He's definitely been a presence out front of Thompson, and uh, that's what created their first goal here. And we are even at one with 17.49 left here in the second period as Arkansas wins the faceoff. But Brock Thompson is going to have to leave this one for Foster. Loses it and escapes. Arkansas almost turned it over again as Pellegrino gathers it in. Tries to send a long cross-eyes pass there. And they're going to call an icing on that one. Looks like Heiserock could have got a stick on it, but he let it go. 
17-35 left here to play. And Arkansas will look at a defensive zone faceoff. It's going to be important for Arkansas here. Haslar all faceoffs. I mean, but, uh, you know, after an icing uh, on a, in a long change period, definitely an important faceoff. Every single one of these got a tired line out there. And McClue wins it back to Fuller, takes a shot, couldn't get it through the traffic. Salmon got a stick on that one, gathered in by Missouri State. Toe drag move, back to Fuller. Thought about another shot, sends it down low, back to Fuller. One-timer is broken up, and Arkansas trying to come back the other way, just ahead of Pellegrino. And they're going to call an icing on that. Wilson couldn't find the stick of the streaking Pellegrino. Almost had a breakaway, unable to make it happen. Two freshmen there, uh, Andrew Pellegrino and Tristan Wilson. I mean, both of which are uh, very, very, very good, uh, you know, for being freshmen here at the Jones Center. They're very good in their own right, and uh, they're definitely making a statement on this team. Very, very uh, good presence on this team for Arkansas, and they're the future of this organization. So it's good to see them uh, get, getting chances and working those kinks out. Arkansas wins the faceoff and quickly get it out of the zone as Wilson's chasing this one. He's going to get it deep. Salmon's going to chase it there with Schumacher. And Schumacher comes away with it. He's got some room to work up the left wing boards to Bell. Puts on a stopping move. Finds Kovacic right side. Getting in the way of him, though, is Morris. As Salmon takes it away, a cross-size pass. Misses De La Guardia. He's knocked to the ice. He gets back up and gets the puck on his stick. But it's quickly taken away. But Arkansas turns it over as Pellegrino picked a pocket. Now to Foster. He's got Salmon in front of the net. Sharp angled shot and a good save there by Stevens. Clears it aside. Near side boards now. Breaking out of the zone is Bell. He's going to carry it across the Arkansas blue line. He was in just ahead of the puck, and he's going to touch it up for an offside. Arkansas will get a faceoff just outside their zone. 16-38 left here in the second. Well, hockey is a team sport, and I think that what you're seeing from the Ice Bears early is the fact that there's a lot of selfish play. I mean, yeah, when they pass the puck, you can tell that it's it's crisp. But they do everything right when they do pass, but right now it seems like one guy just wants to put it on his back, and it doesn't matter who it is. I mean, they've had a couple of chances there where if they just pass the puck, they probably have a better chance of entering the offensive zone. They just haven't done it. Arkansas has to chase this faceoff win down below their own goal line. Foskey with it. He'll send it near side. Off the boards now. Finally do clear it out of the zone. And another icing here as Arkansas can't seem to get out of their own zone without sending it across a couple lines. Well, Missouri State taking a page out of Arkansas's playbook here. Being frustrating for Arkansas. Coming back the other way. Uh, you know, I think they were caught off guard by that style of play in the first period. This is the first time they've met this year. And uh, it's a completely different style than what they saw last year. So I think it kind of caught them off guard, knocked them off balance. And now they're punching back here in the second period. And Turn in there to take the face off against Stovall. Turn has Smith lined up behind him. It's going to be one to the sideboard. It's going to be chipped into the corner, but Arkansas comes away with it. Sends it far side to Haddock. He's going to dump it into the zone. Try to make a move around Brown, but Smith's going to be the first one there. Sends it near side for Thornton. Arkansas gets in the way. Foskey with a shot. Hit a couple men in front. Couldn't get it through to the net. And Howes gets in the way of the outlet pass. Haddock gets it down low to Stovall. Sends it far side. He's got De La Guardia there. Quick wrist shot and a save there by Stevens. And he holds on for the whistle. Good play here by Arkansas getting a couple shots from the Missouri State turnovers. 16-01 the play in the second period. One to one tie. Noticeable healthy scratch tonight. Cal Owens, nine assists on the year, 93 penalty minutes. Face off to the right of Stevens. It'll be Delisle to take it. And looks like Davis is thrown out. In comes Lounder, and he wins the faceoff. A quick shot from Brown is blocked by the other Brown in front. Arkansas gets the rebound. Centering pass in front. That one bounced oh. off of his skate and almost into the net. Good awareness there by Stevens yeah. as he's able to pounce on that one. Alex Smith, one of three freshmen on this uh, Missouri State Ice Bears roster. Uh, he's, uh, he's out there on the ice tonight and uh, has a goal on the year and almost had a, a wrong way goal there off his skate. Delisle with a faceoff back to Gratisar. Quick snapshot, a block in front by Saunders. Gratisar sends it down low to Delisle. He's going to send it below the goal line. Finds Haddock there. This one back to the point. Back down low. That was Brown. He misses it. Heiserot's going to chase into the corner. Gratisar putting a body on the big man. And Arkansas still trying to come away with the puck. Heiserot finally does get his stick on it with 15.30 to play here in the second. He'll send it off the near side boards looking for Saunders. Arkansas. Giving him all kinds of trouble as Brown picks it up. Fan done a shot, but this one goes low. Delisle with it, below the goal line. Centering pass broken up by Missouri State. Delisle's going to chase it down. 
He'll try to cycle it around, getting in the way of that as Missouri State. Gratisar tried to send one to Brown, but it's going to be cleared to the far side corner as Fuller gets that one ahead. Outlet pass once again broken up by Arkansas as the Hogs regain control of the puck. And then Delisle steps out in front, fanned on a backhand pass. That one cleared aside by Saunders, sends it below the goal line, and Arkansas goes to make a change. This one's going to be flipped ahead, but kept into the blue line by Gratisar. Makes the move, high circle, far side. He's got Matson in front, sends it down low instead to Young. He controls it there, back to the point to Foster. Foster, quick shot, rebound, bounced up in the air into the near side boards. Foskey pinches down, chips that one into Matson below the goal line. He dances out of the way of a check, but finally Fuller comes in and tries to send it off the boards to Saunders. Saunders off the glass, glove down at the blue line, but comes just outside the zone, and Arkansas will have to regroup on this one. Looks like it'll be a penalty on the Hogs, a roughing call. As I think they're gonna take Haddock to the box. Looks like Young, actually. Colin Young. Collected penalty minutes this year, Colin Young. That's going to be his fourth. Very uncharacteristic of him. Uh, but, um, you know, that's exactly what you're going to get. A great, great offensive rush by Arkansas there. The longest uh, amount of time they spent on the offensive uh, so far this game. And they just kept working Missouri State. I mean, they just worked them down in the dirty areas like we were talking earlier, pinning them along the boards, uh, uh, keeping it in at the blue line, something they've struggled with in the past. Uh, they're doing something. They're doing it really well tonight. And I think that that's what the difference is so far for Arkansas is creating those chances off of the uh, Missouri State mistakes so far. Uh, they haven't put one away here in the second period, uh, but they're definitely looking sharp. And Arkansas gets an important face-off win as Foster's going to tie it up in the corner. As Kovacic finally picks it out, he'll send it near side. He's got Brown, sends it to the outside hash now. Turn with it, cross eyes pass, broken up by the Hogs, back to the point, held by Brown. Tic-tac pass just comes over the blue line as Bell has to regroup here. He'll send it ahead. Into the zone, turn, chasing it down there. And Ar Arkansas takes it away, tried to take it out of the zone. Pellegrino getting in the way of that, having to race Brown to the puck. Brown sends it off the boards, but Pellegrino gets to it. And he's tying up the puck in the corner. Finally, Missouri State comes away with it, passing ahead to turn off of his skate as Foster gets in the way of that. And back out to the blue line, but kept in by Brown. Now back to Bell. Quick wrist shot, blocker saved by Thompson, clears it aside. Kovacic keeps it in on the far side, sends it off the boards. Tried to make a move, and it's sent out of the zone once again. Arkansas pestering this Missouri State power play with a minute of four left to play. On the man advantage, 13-30 in the second. Tie game here, carried out by McClue. He skates past Delisle, off the boards to himself, picks it up, bottom of the circle, takes a shot, saved by Thompson, rebound, picked up by McClue in the corner. He's going to send it to Bell. He's being pestered there as Arkansas battling for the puck at the blue line, and they do flip it out of the zone. And Chris Brown's going to have to chase this one down as Stevens slows it down for him, 36 seconds on the power play. Bell with it now, sends it cross ice. Stopping move at the blue line. It's going to be sent into the zone by Bratton. Down low. Now behind the goal line. Centering pass. Broken up nicely by the Hogs. Coming back the other way is Haddock. Two on one. Haddock with it. Finally has it poke checked away nicely by Schumacher. And it's going to be tied up in the corner by Haddock with 14 seconds left on the power play. And finally taken out by Missouri State. They're going to send one ahead. This is Bratton. Head of steam up the left wing boards. De La Guardia pushes him aside, but he rega regains the puck. He did get a shot away, and we're back to full strength with 12.30 left here. Arkansas finally gets their man to catch up. Pass down low, centering pass, gets past everybody. Schumacher can't keep it in at the blue line with 12.20. And this one is going to be taken by Johansson. He sends it in. O'Brien tried a centering pass, gets through his man, and Arkansas comes back the other way with it. cross eyes pass, carried in by Matson. Got Young in front. Young has Sholin. Leaves it there for him. Tipped on net just wide. And this one is going to be gathered by the Ice Bears below the goal line. They'll send it far side. Matson's going to win the race of the puck, though. And he's going to get it to his stick. And it's poked away now by O'Brien. And he sends it out dangerously in front of his own net. But Missouri State does get it out of the zone as Barrett knocks it back in. And taken now by Schumacher. He sends it ahead, chipped into the zone by O'Brien. He's going to chase it down. Foskey there with him. Missouri State getting a change as Young's going to chip it near side boards. Arkansas is a man breaking out. Carried by Sholin. One on one the other way with Fuller. Sholin makes a move around a man. Couldn't get it to his stick. Tried the wrap around. Puck loose in front, but Missouri State clears it aside. Tristan Wilson, a quick shot, misses the net wide near side. Taken now by Fuller. He tried to send a pass ahead. He said he tipped it as O'Brien chased it down, but Foster is going to win the race of the puck. He puts it off. Looking for stands there. Pellegrino 
leaves it for him, but it's turned over as Davis takes the puck away. Nobody in front, so he'll just take it to the near side corner, being pressured by Foster. Finally knocked off of his feet. A good hit there by Foster. And a quick shot goes wide of the net. Salmon's going to gather it in for Arkansas. Sends it to Pellegrino. Tried to chip one ahead. Taken away once again. Kept in by Heiserot. Off the boards. Pellegrino coming the other way, and they're going to call a, a high stick, I believe, on this one. And another face-off in the Arkansas zone. A lot of action there. Good chances by the Hogs. Cholin just couldn't get it to a stick. Very close, and even on the wraparound attempt, tried to knock it off the back of the skate of the goaltender, Stevens. Uh, Arkansas, I got to call out Andrew Pellegrino. He's had a great shift here on this penalty kill and then staying out on the ice, uh, having a couple of chances coming down this other way. Uh, Sholin was so fast on that pass out front that he tried to angle himself toward the near side post. If he had gone back post on that young pass on the break in to the zone, Arkansas probably had an easy goal. Quick shot off the face off, steered aside by Thompson. Rebound comes near side now. Foskey chasing it down there. Gets out of the way of a hit. He gains control of the puck. He's going to take it far side, being pressured once again by Saunders. He stood up there. Missouri State keeps into the zone. And Foskey gets a hit of his own, but a shot gets away. And rebound chipped on net there by Lounder. But Brock Thompson holding strong here about midway through the second period. Chad Lounder, the Hickory, Pennsylvania native. Hasn't recorded a point this season. That's uh, about as close as he's gotten tonight for sure. Good job by Arkansas shutting down that rush. Stovall versus McClue to the right of Brock Thompson. 10.30 left here to play in the second. And this faceoff won by the Hawks. Taken by Morris below his own goal line. Sends it to Howes off the boards but couldn't control it. It's going to be set far side. Check up the offsides as McClue sends it to Bell. Tried to make a toe drag move and a big hit by Foskey. Sends it ahead. Arkansas almost chipped it. A big open ice hit by Howes. And another big hit by the Hogs. They're head hunting right now. Clean hits around the puck as they gain control in their own zone. <laughs> this one's sent near side. Carried out by Howes. Cross eyes pass. Tried to chip it into the zone. I think Haddock had his head on a swivel on that one as he had a man lining him up. <laughs> Looks I like Chris it. Brown has taken exception to some of these hits talking to the referee down there. I love it. This is exactly the type of hockey Arkansas needs to play. Chris Brown down there, yeah, he's he's talking to the referee about it. But Arkansas, I mean, Howes, we've seen him. He's changed his game completely. So has uh, Haddock this I think, year. I think the issue they had was after Howes hit him, you know, the man was down on his knees, and Howes kind of gave him a push to the to the chin. I think he was just trying to get his stick loose. Yeah, could be. <laughs> could be. Who knows? It's hard to say. Uh, but, uh, you know, definitely look for Missouri State to turn up their pressure. And take it by Gratisar in the zone. Quick shot, kick, save, rebound was there. But cleared aside nicely by Johansson to the far side boards. Brown chasing to the corner. Schumacher controls it there, though. He's going to skate it ahead himself. Tries to chip a pass ahead to McClue. Offsides, Arkansas coming back the other way. This is Delisle in front. Takes a shot. Rebound was there. It sent it off the back of the goaltender. Oh. And where's this puck? Ooh, sitting right against that post. A good chance there. Delisle couldn't beat Bailey Stevens. And a good save there. Didn't give up much of a rebound. And Arkansas can't capitalize on that turnover. Great save by Bailey Stevens. And we can't talk enough about this freshman. I mean, 7-5-1 and one, uh, as a freshman goaltender in the WCHL. you got to be kidding me. I mean, you look at Thompson on the other side. He's 4-6-1, and one, and he's outstanding. I mean, we've seen Thompson make some incredible saves here. And to see uh, Stevens here tonight as well. I mean, both of these guys have great futures in the ACHA. And it looks like a Hail Mary play will work out. For the Ice Bears as O'Brien gains control in the Arkansas zone. He's being pressured up against the boards. And it looks like Brown's going to come away with the puck for the Hawks. He takes it far side. He's going to send this one down. Finds Delisle. Chips it into the zone. Schumacher is going to gain control, though. 9.15 left to play. Gratisar checking up on him. And we're going to get a whistle. Yeah. Can't do that across ice there, Zane O'Brien. I think he's going to go to the box. Interference. Yeah, perhaps a little bit of frustration. Oh, oh, they're going to they're gonna say roughing. Dual minors here. Brown and O'Brien both going to the box. I think that's probably the right call. Trying to get control of the game. Yeah, perhaps the referee listening to uh, the captain Brown a little bit. Trying to temper. Uh, oh, we remember a Brown that played for Missouri State last oh, year. Bobby, Bobby Brown. Brown. Oh, <laughs> that's a big human being. <laughs> six six foot seven, I believe. Uh, something like On that. On skates, he was at least that. <laughs> yeah. Face off one. Missouri State controls it. They'll send it ahead into the zone. Johansson, he's going to send it into the corner. Howes is going to take it 
He chips it off the boards, finds his man there, back to house. Makes a move, but taken away by Missouri State. Back to the point, cross-eyes pass. Held there by Schumacher, quick shot and a kick save. Rebound was there, but cleared away nicely by the Hogs. Pass sent ahead, carried into the zone by House. He's got Haddock in front. House tried to take a shot, but fanned on it. He'll take it to the near side boards with two Missouri State players in there. Finally, Haddock comes to join the party, but Schumacher comes away with it for the Bears. Minute 20 left to four on four. Ooh, a big hit as Turin was knocked into the boards by House and an offside call on the play. <laughs> I'm really loving the way Landon Howes is playing. I mean, him and James Haddock, like I said, last year, probably more finesse players. I hadn't, I didn't see them line up a whole lot of guys. That, that wasn't really their style. That really wasn't the team style. And you could kind of see it in their record as well. I mean, Arkansas finished 8-29-2 and 219-1 and and in WCHL play. So, I mean, you know, it's not exactly what you want, but it was definitely a rebuilding year for Arkansas to see what pieces they had and bring in new pieces this year. And one of the things that was a big – Big factor was size. They needed more Absolutely. guys with a little bit of size, and Howes has that. He's one of the bigger guys on the team, 6'1", 195. I mean, he can throw that body around, and he puts all of his body weight into his hits, uh, and they're clean. And it'll be Stovall to take the face off against Bell. Stovall wins it back. Controlled by the Hogs in their own zone. Foskey being pressured by Bell. He'll send it off the boards for Stovall. Stovall back to Foskey. He'll send it near side. Sholin having to race to the boards for the puck. This one chipped into the corner. A man there from Missouri State, Stovall, having trouble getting it away from Bell as Bell gains control of the puck. Sends it far side. This one off the boards, and it's going to be kept in nicely by Brown. Far side pass across the Kovacic. Takes a shot. Missed the net wide on that one. This one comes out to center ice. Chased down by Sholin. Brown's going to play it off the boards and an offside as Stovall didn't see Sholin about halfway down into the zone. 43 seconds left to four on four action. 7.54 left here in the second. A one to one tie. There's that kid on uh, the Mighty Ducks movies who can't stop. That's uh, Tobias Scholin. That's who he reminds me of. He just skates so fast. <laughs> Sometimes he can't stop. Uh, no need for breaks. <laughs> Face off outside the Missouri State zone. This one won by the Bears. They'll send it to Brown. He sends a cross-size pass, broken up by Sholin, though, and Foster's going to gain control with Bell chasing down on him. Sends it near side for Foskey. He'll send it out of the zone off the right wing boards to Stovall. Stovall gets in front of the net. Fans on the shot. Might have had a stick lifted. Coming the other way is Bell. As Arkansas turns it over, Foster picks it up, sends it off the boards, chases it down himself, poked ahead by Heiserat. And Kovacic with it in the zone. Tries to take a shot, does, and a good save there by Brock Thompson. No rebound given up on the play. Ten seconds left of four-on-four -four hockey. Kovacic not the guy Arkansas wants to have the puck. Like I said, they've been kind of picking him out of late, and Arkansas is going to send somebody to the box. Looks like it's going to be Chris Stovall, another coincidental minor here. Kovacic and Stovall. Stovall, you be <laughs> careful. Pleading his case. Yeah. Saying he was slashed, but that's all right, so we'll get some now, some coach. Coach Galini, you know, this is a holdover from two weeks ago. Uh, you know, in that Arizona State game, there were some pretty egregious calls out there and non-calls as well. But, you know, uh, Coach Galini, uh, we saw him after that game, definitely uh, talk to the officials after that game. He's uh, having a little chat with them now. Uh, you know, that's the frustration with getting the same officials every single week is, you know, you're trying to work out those kinks with them, you know. They're trying to be as fair as they possibly can uh, out there on the ice. And, uh, you know, sometimes that means that you're not going to get the call that goes your way. Uh, I mean, even if your guy's getting slashed, if he uh, retaliates in any way, he's got to call that as well. And it looks like we'll have four on four, so – in 10 seconds, two men will come out of the box, but they'll have to wait until the first stoppage after 5.22 on the clock to get out Kovacic and Stovall as well. So that could play in here with only 7.22 left here. In the second, one-to-one -one tie, face off in the Arkansas zone, won by the Bears. I think they're actually coincidental misconducts. And this one's sent out of the zone, all the way down the ice. They call the icing off. And back to five-on-five -five action. Missouri State breaking out of their own zone. And they'll send it far side, carried into the zone. And a quick wrist shot, glove save by Brock Thompson. Quick shot by Bratton. 
He's got a nice wrister on him. 7.02 left in the period. Yeah, and, you know, Brock Thompson, though, we haven't had to talk a whole lot about him tonight because, I mean, he just plays such good position in goaltending. That's exactly what you want out of your goaltender is a guy who's just always in position. Now, you know, there were a couple shaky moments in the first period, but there he is again. Another just glove makes save. An easy glove save. He's always there, and he, uh, he looks it into the glove every time just like a good shortstop would. Yeah, he's got to be aware here. Missouri State winning these faceoffs with ease as he gets another one. And a good job there nicely by De La Guardia stepping up to block that quick shot. Centering pass broken up, but Missouri State regains control of the puck. Johansson with it. He's going to send it down up and out of play. This one will stay inside the zone. 6.48 to play here in the second. Uh, one of the guys that they, uh, they protect on this Arkansas team, those 88 out there, Luke Gratisar. Doesn't do a whole lot of talking, it doesn't seem like, out there. Sometimes he gets into it. But uh, tonight he's uh, been pretty quiet on that end. And yeah, face-off one by the Hogs, tied up below the goal line, coming away with it, Alec Morris. He's got it in the corner, being pressured by Bratton, puts on the brakes, comes near side with it. He's got Gratisar up ahead. He chips it off the boards to him. Gratisar trying to pester him for the puck, gains control of it, makes a spin move around a man. cross ice pass, stick down in front oh, wow. as Brown is going to send it towards the back of the net. This one's chipped up and out of play. A little I, pirouette by Gratisar. I swear he was a figure skater at some point. I mean, he had to have been. I, the things he does on the ice, I swear, you know, any hockey player doesn't think to think uh, to do those things a lot of the time. He is absolutely phenomenal. And his face off to the left of Stevens. It's going to be Colin Young in there to take it. And they're going to throw out Bratton. In comes O'Brien, Young. Against the second centerman on this line. And can't capitalize as O'Brien wins his faceoff. It's going to be sent off the near side board looking for a breakout. But Arkansas is going to dump it back in. That stands. Haven't called his name much tonight, but coming back the other way is Missouri State. O'Brien up the right wing. Centers it. Broken up by the Hogs nicely. Comes to the side boards now. Arkansas is going to break it out of the zone. It's going to be chipped ahead. Carried in by Matson. Chipped ahead for Young. Young tried to get it in front off a skate. He gets it back, though. He's a backhand, back to Foster, shot, rebound, shot, score! Oh, no goal, no goal. They're gonna say Sholin <laughs> knocked he, it into the net did. with his glove. He, he really did. <laughs> it, it was up in the air, you know, the, the intent counts, and, and I think they're gonna say the intent was to knock that puck in the goal, which he succeeded at, but not, uh, a, ch not a legal goal. He's ch he chested it in is what uh, Sholin is saying. And like you said, the intent counts. It, the, the only legal goal that you can have that you can intentionally put the puck in the net, the only body part you're really able to do that with is your stick. Uh, you, can't, you can't do that with a body part. Uh, you can't intentionally knock it in, in that way. You have to hit it with your stick, or at least attempt to hit it with your stick. In that case, he kind of just put his whole body out there and let it hit him and, uh, and knocked it down into the goal. It was an easy call off for the for the referee. Yeah. You gotta at least whiff at it with your stick, and if it hits your arm, then then maybe yeah they'll give it to you. But unfortunate break for the Hawks, and Missouri State wins the ensuing faceoff. Held now by Heiserat. He's gonna send it ahead, carried in by Perrin. It's gonna be knocked off the puck by Foster, and Foster's gonna gain control, skates it out in front of his own net, and just flips it up and out of play. I think that was a, a panic move, as he wasn't planning on skating that out in front of the net, but. Uh, you know, better that than a turnover in your own zone. So Arkansas will get a defensive zone faceoff. 538 left here in the second. I think the puck got up on an edge and uh, just lifted it way too high there. So the draw will be to the left of Thompson. Turin in there to take it. And he wins it to the side boards, but it's taken by stands for the Hogs. He'll send it off the boards to Haddock, who just chips it out, not looking who's ahead of him. And Missouri State takes this one away. They'll send it off the boards, chipped into the zone by Turin. Thompson comes out to leave it there for Foster. And he's got a little bit of room in front of him. Nice pass ahead. Can't control it, though, as it bounces off of the stick of Pellegrino. And Missouri State just dumps it back into the zone the other way. Howes with the buck, being pressured by Perrin. Sends it off the boards. Finds Stans there. Stans, far side now. Turin lost an edge. Carried ahead across the Missouri State blue line. This is Stans with it into the, in the, the corner. Centering pass, no one home on the play. But Foster, excuse me, that's Howes with it. He's going to make a move, leaves it there for Haddock, picks it up in the corner, spins around. A fight for it on the near side boards now. Both teams with a couple men in there. Finally taken by Howes, a shot. Saved there by Stevens. Comes back to Morris, another quick shot. Misses the net wide. Arkansas makes a change and a slash. 
Not going to be called here, but it's flipped out to center ice. Pellegrino knocks it down there for Arkansas. Has some trouble with it, and Missouri State gets it deep into the zone as they go to make a change. And Foskey's going to gather it for the Hogs. And it looks like we're going to have too many men on the a ice. whistle. You know, I, I thought perhaps too many men, but I, I'm not sure if that's going to be the call. Looks like Arkansas. He's going to have a man go to the box. Yeah, Jack Kritzer. And Arkansas will go on the penalty kill once again. Yeah, they haven't been bad on or the penalty kill. They're taking him out, and they're going to put in. It looks like Connor Madsen. Yeah, 426 left here in the period. Missouri State with a great chance to try to get the go-ahead goal here late in the second. And they finally update the scoreboard to reflect the period. <laughs> Better late than never. Might as well have been never. His face off will be to the left of Brock Thompson. That's Young. And there to take it against Bratton. And it's tied up in the skates. And Arkansas is going to break up the D to D pass. And this one's going to come all the way down the ice. Setting up shop there is Schumacher. He's got a lot of space to work. Slow breakout here across the red line. Arkansas blue line now. It dumps it into the zone. Morris forces him wide, but it's going to gather the puck once again. He'll send it near side. Having trouble with it there as Arkansas chips it out, kept in at the blue line. They finally do pick it out. They get it to the center ice mark, but Missouri State comes back the other way with it. Carried into the zone by Schumacher. He's going to dump it in deep. Chased down by Morris. Behind the Arkansas net. In there as well as Barrett, but Foskey's going to come away with it. Just send this one all the way down the ice. A minute 15 left here on the power play for Missouri State. Arkansas gets a rare change. For the shorthanded. And coming the other way is Barrett. He's got a head of steam. Sends it ahead up the left wing boards. Finds Bratton there. And a drop pass. Misses his man. And coming back the other way is Delisle. He's going to send one ahead. Looking for Haddock. This one's going to go into the zone. And Arkansas is going to get some room to work. 53 seconds left on the power play. Schumacher once again breaking out of his own zone. He's going to leave it for Johansson. He sends it. Cross ice pass. Carried in front. Quick shot. Misses the net high. And rebound comes to the near side boards. Foster pushed the man off the puck, but Missouri State regains control of it. Coming back to Brown now. Can't keep it in as this one trickles out to center ice. Right. It's going to be picked up now by Bell. He's going to control it there. He's got Haddock pressuring him. Send it cross ice. Finds Brown. Brown's got some room in front of him. He decides to skate it across the Arkansas blue line. Centering pass Kovacic. Had O'Brien near side, but the pass just in front of him. As O'Brien regains control, he steps out in front, tries to take a shot, but sends it back to O'Brien instead. And it's going to be broken up by Arkansas with 11 oh. seconds left. They had a man streaking, and this one's going to be called offside with 2.33 left here in the second. Eight seconds left of five-on-four hockey. I wanted to talk about Josh Stain's rush earlier. That was a... Uh... Pretty incredible from the guy who's been the seventh defenseman for Arkansas, kind of the fringe scratch guy. Uh, he's in uh, for Cal Owens tonight, uh, and uh, I really liked what I saw. He's skating it down the ice, completely unexpected. Uh, made some good moves. I, I want to see more out of him in this game. Uh, I hope he gets a couple extra shifts after uh, that remarkable play. And face off at center ice. Right. McClue tries to win it ahead to himself, but Pellegrino's going to dump it deep into the zone. And we are back to even strength. As Missouri State looks to break out, they send it up the right wing boards. Kovacic chips it ahead. Brock Thompson has to come out to play this one, and it's going to send this one down the ice. Gathered in by Brown. He's going to skate it out himself up the right wing boards, and he's going to be stood up there as Salmon takes the puck away for the Hogs. Kovacic on him. Salmon reverses ice coming up the left wing boards now. Across the Missouri State blue line. He's going to send it back to Pellegrino. He's being pressured by Kovacic and finally picked out by Salmon. This one tried to poke it ahead as Pellegrino gets a quick shot. Kick save there by Saunders. Excuse me, Stevens as Kovacic comes back the other way, sends it ahead for Turin. Turin makes a move around De La Guardia, puts on a stopping move, loses an edge, and the puck is going to be shoveled to the near side corner. Chasing it there is Morris. A minute 30 left here to play in the second period. A one-to-one -one game, and Salmon's going to send this one off the glass and all the way down the ice. And this one will be blown dead for an icing with a minute 21 left here in the period. 
We were remembering a couple of Missouri State players from last year. You know, big presences. Hoagland uh, was another one, and Bobby Brown. Those are the two guys that they are missing from last year to this year. But are they really missing them? I mean, they're doing really well. They have a better record this year than they did last year. They're within three wins of uh, tying their mark for last year in wins. So uh, Missouri State is definitely an improving program, even uh, after losing a, a couple of uh, big-name players. Alec Morris putting on a couple moves, a dancer out of the way of a couple guys, but almost turned the puck over. As Morris finally does get it out to center ice, trying to chip it ahead. And Arkansas is going to have to come up ahead to play this one. This is De La Guardia pinching up from his defensive spot, but Fuller is going to send it near side. Arkansas gets in the way of that one. They're going to dump it back into the zone. Stovall back out on the ice with 50 seconds left to play. Hides the route. Behind his own net, long cross ice pass. It's going to be chipped into the Arkansas zone. Foster is going to gain control there. He'll send it off the near side boards. And it comes out to center ice. Gratisar is fighting Fuller there. Gratisar is just going to chip it into the zone. With 35 seconds left, Heiser out, sends it near side for Perrin. Into the corner. Fuller takes it away from Stovall, being chased down. And now Brown will take his turn with Fuller. Send it near side. Foskey sends it back into the zone off of a player. And this one did come out, but... No call in the play as they get it back in. No offside. Brown within the corner. Centering pass gets through the crease and through everybody and back out to center ice. Ten seconds left to play as Arkansas controls it in their own zone. They send it ahead once again to Gratisar. Try to pass out in front. Missouri State takes it away with three seconds left to play. And Arkansas will just send this one into the zone. And the buzzer blows on the second period. A one-to-one -one game. It's been every bit of one-to-one -one game, too. It's not, you know, there isn't one team out muscling the other. Yeah, there's been lulls for one team and the other team having great rushes. Uh, but you could say that about both teams, you know. Very similar styles of play there in the second period. It seemed like in the first period, uh, Missouri State was trying to outskill Arkansas, and they said, no, we're not going to let that happen. So Missouri State did a very good job in that first intermission of changing their play style, really. I mean, they came out, they uh, started forechecking a little bit more, uh, trying to frustrate Arkansas, saying, hey, if you want to play that way, we're going to play that way as well. But then Arkansas, two big hits uh, in the middle of that period, really swung the momentum. It felt like the play was a majority on that end of the ice in the Missouri State offense end and then it shifted back to the Missouri State defensive end there towards the end of the period so it's good to see that Arkansas isn't running out of gas like they were against Arizona and Arizona State where they just overwhelmed them and Arkansas is just not going to be overwhelmed against their their bitter rifle in Missouri State and the Ice Bears uh, you know they've answered the bell pretty well but uh, Arkansas I think uh, you know I, I'd say through 40 minutes has been the better team and has had the better chances. We'll be back in about 18 minutes for the call of the third period. Don't go anywhere. Arkansas and Missouri State are tied at one.
Welcome back to the Jones Center in Springdale, Arkansas, as we get set to bring you the third period of action between the Arkansas Razorbacks and the Missouri State Ice Bears. This game is all knotted up at one after two frames entering the third period. My name is Corey Porter. Alongside me, EJ Sanders on camera tonight, Quinn Shields. EJ, what do the Hogs have to do, and then what's, what does Missouri State have to do to try to get that go-ahead goal here in this uh, perhaps final frame? Got to keep applying pressure, and that goes for both ends. I mean, whoever whoever is going to win this fist fight, that's really what it is out there on the ice. Who's going to win and who's going to get the last punch in the mouth? Uh, I mean, both teams have been going back and forth at each other. Uh, it's been a, a very fun game to watch. Good brand of physical hockey on both sides and a lot of skill out there as well. I mean, you can't deny that uh, a lot of these rushes are generated by uh, the uh, tremendous skill on both sides. Arkansas skill players got to get in the, into the action, get set up in the offensive zone, and uh, those role players definitely need to continue playing that role of the little brother and just keep pestering this Missouri State team. They saw that center ice, a quick jump by Josh Bell. They'll have to reset for this one. They may kick McClue out. Tipped his hand on that one. And it will be McClue against Stovall. Still no puck drop, and they're going to kick them both out. They're going to kick them both out. Yeah, make them both take the face off. Looks like it'll be Haddock versus Bell, the, the two wingers that couldn't sit still. Still antsy. Finally get a puck drop. One. Back by Missouri State. And they're going to set it up the left wing boards, try to chip it into the zone as Foster loses his stick, but a quick offside call. Just seven seconds into this third period. The goals tonight, Arkansas got on the board first on an unassisted goal by Tobias Scholin in the first period before the equalizer in the second period came from Zane O'Brien. We'll see if McClue and Stovall get to do it, and they do, and this one is won by McClue. He sends it back to Schumacher. And he'll send it far side back to Schumacher. An outlet pass finds his man, Johansson. Sends it into the zone. Finds McClue there. He sends it down low for Bell, but that one's going to be chipped to the corner by Stovall. And coming back the other way is Arkansas. Haddock chips this one ahead to Howes. Carries it into the zone. Makes a move around a man. Takes a shot. Rebound is there, but couldn't get his stick on it. As Stovall takes a hard shot into the boards, and this puck comes to the far side, and it's going to be chipped out to centerize Landon Howes. Picks it up for the Hogs there. Alec Morris with it near side. This one's going to be flipped into the zone off the boards, and an icing call, I believe, as they're going to peel an Arkansas player off of the boards or off of the bench. And Arkansas will get a defensive zone faceoff. 19-15 left here in the third period. Arkansas with some tired legs out there. Yeah, this is still their top line out there. <laughs> huh. mm. Now Morris is skating off. And face off is one. A quick shot from Bratton. Or Barrett goes high. The Ooh. rebound bounced right back out in front. But the net is knocked off of its moorings. Slow start here to the third period as we sit tied at one. Bailey Stevens in goal tonight. For the Ice Bears, has looked good. 289. Goals against average, 920 save percentage. Brock Thompson on the other side has given up 3.94 a game. Save percentage, 873. Both have looked great here tonight. This faceoff will be Delisle versus Bratton. Bratton wins this one. And it's taken by Smith. Gratisar pestering him. They get it in the zone, but have to check up the offsides. Arkansas regains control, and they'll take it into their own zone. Chipped out to center ice. Gratisar lets that one go through. But it's picked up by Alex Smith, who plays it off the near side boards. At center ice, Arkansas breaks up the rush before it's picked out by O'Brien, who gets a pass back, playing pass with his man, and a quick shot saved as Barrett got that one away. And it's on the near side boards now. Back to the point, quick slap shot, couldn't get it through. Blocked in front nicely by Brown, sent ahead by, to Gratisar. He's got Delisle, tried to make a move, but it's taken away by Brown as he sends it up the left wing boards. O'Brien, cross ice pass, broken up, and finally get a whistle for a slashing call as Gratisar pleads his case, but he will go to the penalty box. Four, two minutes, 18.25 left here in the third. A rare penalty there for Gratisar. 16th penalty minute on the season. Not the normal guys we see taking penalties for Arkansas tonight. But uh, nonetheless, Gratisar will go sit down. Another huge penalty kill opportunity for Arkansas. 18-25 in the third. Face off, won by Missouri State to get a cross-ice quick shot. 
And it's gloved by Brock Thompson. Saw that one the whole way. Not a whole lot on that shot from Chris Brown. Still looking for his first goal this year. Very common name. Wonder if he can dance. Face off to the left of Thompson. Colin Young wins this one back. De La Guardia is going to pinch it up against the boards in the corner. Saunders in there along with Turin. Trying to pull it out. Turin finally gets it. He sends it down low to Kovacic. Back to the point to Bell. He controls it there. Back to Kovacic. He's going to control it there. And Arkansas gets a stick on it. Sends it all the way down the ice. Stevens unable to slow that one down. Chris Brown's going to pick it up for the Bears. 18 minutes. A minute 33 on the power play. And ahead of steam now. Carried ahead by Bell. Into the zone. Makes move around a man before it's chipped away by Haddock. Into the corner. Haddock puts a big body on Bell. And it's going to be taken by Saunders. Sends it back to Brown. Brown controls it there. Got Young on him. Boxes him out. Sends it down low to Saunders. Now to Kovacic. Outside hash. Quick shot save. Off the stick. Rebound is loose in front. Arkansas gets a stick on it as Young sends it down the ice. And the Hogs will get a change with a minute 04 left on the power play. Missouri State will change a couple men as well. Picked up behind the net by Barrett. He's coming ahead with a lot of speed. And a sharp angle shot. Rebound was loose in front. O'Brien just a little bit too deep to get a stick on that one. Tries to send a cross ice to Schumacher. That one comes out to center ice. And the Bears will regroup here. Sends one ahead to turn. He'll have to circle back. 40 seconds now. As Alex Turn skates it ahead. Sends it into the zone. And it looks like there's going to be... And icing call on the play. The Missouri State bench groaning at that one. I don't know if they're groaning at Turin or the call, but unhappy with that. 32 seconds left on the power play now for the Bears. Is, this is their best penalty killer on the ice right now, Jack Kritzer. I mean, we don't see him a whole lot on the ice uh, outside of the penalty kill, but he is a solid, solid defensive stick to have on the ice, and uh, they're going to utilize him here. And the Bears win the faceoff, held by Joe Hansen. He's going to leave it there for Barrett. Kritzer blocks him off, sent ahead to Schumacher. Makes a move, sends it into the zone. O'Brien cycles one back, crosses to Schumacher, holds it there. And it's going to be chipped out of the zone nicely by Pellegrino with 10 seconds left on Gratisar's penalty. Missouri State will have one more rush. Carried ahead by Schumacher, gets it into the zone. And puck is left there for Barrett, sends it down low. O'Brien, Gratisar. Heads to the bench as Arkansas is back to full strength. And this puck comes back out to center ice. It's going to be Salmon pressuring him there. Taking away. Kritzer was waiting for that puck. But O'Brien's going to gain control for Missouri State. He's going to skate it. Far side of the ice taken now by Joe Hansen. He'll send it near side. Missouri State looking to break out of their own zone. Schumacher, long cross ice pass. Tipped into the zone by Barrett. Foster is going to chip it near side. Skating ahead now is Haddock. And he gets it into the zone, but just ahead of the puck. He was just waiting for that puck to get it, come to him rather than attacking it, and it caused an offside on the play. Arkansas got a majority change there, so they won't be too tired out there. They're going to get that top line with Stovall back out on the ice. They got Haddock out there as well. I mean, a lot of captaincy on the ice right now. Housie on the ice. This face off will be to the right of Thompson. That's Davis in there to take it against Stovall. And it's won by Davis. They'll chip it back to Fuller, but they'll blow this one dead. Davis may have got a, a jump start on that one. 15-51 left here to play. <laughs> Stovall's like, don't worry, buddy. <laughs> I know how it is. <laughs> and face off one to the sideboards, tied up there. Trying to dig it out. Both teams finally. Alec Morris comes away with it for the Hawks. He'll skate it far side. Off the boards. This one is gloved down at center ice. And Missouri State sends it back into the zone. This one is backhanded below the goal line. Picked up by Haddock. He's going to try it near side. Puts on the brakes there. That's Foskey. And he turns it over. This one goes off the side of the net. And up and out of play. Arkansas with another quick turnover. Leads to a shot for Missouri State and another chance. With 15-22 left here in the third, still tied at one. Rare mistake there by Alec Morris. Uh, he's by far one of the best stick handlers on this team. He's got very soft hands. He's very good. The thing that makes him a great uh, puck handler is the fact that he uh, has a very good awareness of the ice, and uh, you see that a lot of the time. And face off 
Comes back below the Arkansas goal line. Into the corner, Matson gets it on his stick. He's going to send it far side. This one is going to be chased down by Alex Smith. He's got Sholin on his heels. Sends it off the boards, and Young couldn't keep it into the zone. Racing for the puck now is Foster. Sends it near side, looking for Matson. It's going to be taken by Thornton instead. As Missouri State regroups in their own zone, Smith plays one ahead. Center ice, Arkansas. He's going to take this one away with Young. He's going to backhand one into the zone and chase it down. And it's going to be Smith sending it near side. Finds Perrin and kept in by Arkansas momentarily. Coming back the other way, though, is Bell. Goes to the outside. Quick shot, rebound. Steered aside to the near side board. Thornton tries to backhand it back into the zone. But Arkansas is going to get it out to center ice before losing it to Thornton right at the red line. And Brown's going to take that one. He's tripped up. And Arkansas is going to flip it the other way as Foster gets a stick on it. This one's sent near side for Thornton. He's got a man in front just under his stick. Looking for McClue breaking into the zone. But Missouri State going for a change. And it's going to be picked up by the Bears. 14-14 left to play. Brown with it being pressured by Wilson. He gets one ahead to Turin who's going to chip it into the zone. Racing against Foster. Turin bodies Foster off of the puck. Gains control. Sends it below the goal line for Kovacic. Tries to get it back to Turin. Foster gets in the way of that one. And Turin's going to pick it up. Backhand pass back to the point. Finds his man there, Johansson. He sent, sends it down low. It's going to be Kovacic near side. He picks it up. Off the boards, back to the point. Quick shot gets through traffic. Trickling in front. Puck still loose. De La Guardia didn't see it at first. Brown finally does pick it out. A centering pass turned over. Turn in front. Takes a shot saved by Brock Thompson. Once again, Arkansas bailed out by a shot right into the belly of the goaltender. Yeah, that's... Uh... That's what they call the wheelhouse right there. <laughs> High slot, and uh, actually right in the slot with nobody on you. Oof. Arkansas gets bailed out by their goaltender again. Bad shot, really. He shot it right into the chest of Thompson, but Thompson has been stellar tonight. Yeah, good positioning as well. So this faceoff will come to his left side. It's going to be Salmon in there against Turin. Pellegrino picks it up off the faceoff. Tried to make a move around him, and he gets the puck back. He's got Wilson ahead, sends it to him, but this puck is chip back out to center ice. Arkansas has to clear the offsides. They'll regroup with Morris. Sends one ahead to Pellegrino. Tipped into the zone just wide of the net. Schumacher chasing it down there. Picks it up. Pellegrino once again pestering him. Foster or Salmon's going to chase him down now. Still with the puck. Sends it far side. This one chipped ahead to Bell. Couldn't gather it in. As Stans hits the deck. Puck tied up. Kicked ahead. Taken by Morris. 13.03 left here in the third. Morris puts on, a, on the brakes. He's got stands with him. He's making Bell dance now. And Wilson gets it, skating up the right side. Tries to make a move around Schumacher, but it's chipped into the zone instead. And Arkansas will have to try to gather it in there as Salmon gets a stick on the puck. He gets it far side. Wilson, Foskey in front, finally finds him. Takes a shot, misses the net wide. Good back check there by Missouri State. Arkansas regains control. This is Salmon. Far side, outside hash. Tries to step inside, gets it to Foskey. And we're going to have a whistle as we had a pile up in front of the net. Not sure what the call is here. They're certainly going to take a Missouri State player. They yeah, might I mean, take an Arkansas player It's got to be both because well. Arkansas had possession of the puck, so I, I'd assume they wouldn't blow it dead as Arkansas had the puck. Yeah, it sounds like it looks like Schumacher pleading his case, but he'll go to the box. Arkansas not going to send one of their own. This is a this is very strange call. It might have been because there was an Arkansas player down in the crease. Uh, you know, could, you could never be. know. You never know what uh, what the referee is thinking in those situations. Maybe it was a play he wanted to blow dead immediately just because of the situation. Yeah. Hard to say, but Arkansas gets a power play here. Unfortunate break, but the Hogs do get the man advantage. Corey Delisle, outside hash, sends it down low. Back to Delisle. Up high, Foskey, back to Delisle. Good Top back. of the circle, steps on front, shot right into the belly. And a good save by Stevens. No rebound given up on that one, but the Hogs attacking early, just 12 seconds into this power play. Crisp, crisp passing. That's something that Arkansas in years past, you know, we talk about it all the time. Something that Coach Galini's probably been preaching over there on that bench as he's got uh, five guys huddled up over there now uh, talking strategy for this second uh, power play line, and Arkansas wins the faceoff. Cross-ice pass just out of the reach. Of Gratisar, unable to get a one-timer away. They send it down low to Brown. He's got Chris Brown on him. And Arkansas with three players down low to Missouri State's one, trying to pick it out. And they finally do. Brown 
Holding strong, and it's going to be a penalty on Arkansas. Unfortunate here. I think it's going to be Gratisar going again. Either a high stick or an interference call. Just took him down to the ice. Good aggressive play there by Brown. Able to, to really pester the Arkansas power play. They had three players in there. Couldn't get the puck away. And Gratisar is going to get his third and fourth penalty minute of the night. <laughs> high sticking is going to be the call on Gratisar there. I, you know, it's unfortunate. These, are rough. these are definitely rough penalties. Uh, and these are the types of penalties you're going to get in games like this. You know, these games where we're talking about them getting down into different areas of the ice, into the corners. This game has not been played in the middle of the ice. It has definitely been played against the boards. And Arkansas has had the better chances so far in, uh, in that type of game. But Missouri State now with an excellent opportunity on the offensive zone faceoff. So four on four action for a minute 26. As Missouri State barely holds the blue line. Brown loses an edge and just has to dump it back in. And a centering pass, finds Fuller, takes a shot off the post. No goal, says the referee. Gathered in by Stovall. He sends one ahead. They find De La Guardia. Coming back the other way, three on one. Scholin, along with Stovall, they take a shot. This one goes wide of the net. Kovacic is going to chip one ahead. Finds Bell. He's got a one-on-one -on -one the other way. Tries to make a move, but he stood up there. Taken away in front. Good poke check there. Couldn't keep it in. Missouri State will have to clear the offsides as Scholin gathers it in for the Hogs. 52 seconds left on Arkansas. Four on four before they're down a man. And they turn it over. Coming back the other way, O'Brien. He's got some room in front of him. Takes a shot. Clutch save by Brock Thompson. Oh, he makes that look pretty. He does such a good job. I mean, his composure is what something that I really like. It's really a breath of fresh air as far as Arkansas goaltenders go. I mean, uh, you know, he's one of the better ones we've seen in this building for sure. I remember Oliver Eklund, another one that we've seen uh, with our own eyes. Very good player. Uh, he kind of reminds me a little bit of him. Doesn't go to the butterfly as much, but that's probably because Thompson's a little bit taller and uh, can make those glove saves. Foster is going to pick out. The puck from the faceoff, and he's going to skate it out himself, being lined up by Barrett, being pushed into the boards. Arkansas will have to clear the offsides. They control it at center ice. They finally do get it in deep. 26 seconds left on four on four. And skating out now is Fuller. And being pushed off the puck is Foster. And he's going to go to the bench. Or uh, I'm sorry, that's Heiserot. He's going to get a slashing call. As Brock Thompson is slowly making his way to the bench. And this one's going to be an icing call in Arkansas. Looks like Missouri State will get a man going to the box. Yeah, it's going to be Heisrod here. Just a retaliation play, a little slash. All right, he's, he's a guy they need on the ice right now. He's a, he's a very big defenseman, 6'4", 215. Maybe not Bobby Brown big, but one of the bigger players on this Missouri State team. And, uh, you know, he just his size kind of gets in his own way sometimes, it seems like, and uh, ends up committing a penalty there that, that uh, definitely, you know, he wished he'd have back, but uh, he knew it right away. And uh, the Missouri State bench may disagree with it, but uh, Heiserot seemed pretty remorseful right after he made that and play. And the discussion there was where the faceoff would be normally with the penalty. Uh, it'll be in the offensive zone, but Arkansas actually had an icing on the play. So that's, back that was the, the discussion. So it'll be right outside the zone. It'll be five, four on three for Arkansas for another 10 seconds before we have four on four action. This one tied up on the outside boards and the puck comes loose and a race for it now. Foskey's going to win that race to the puck. Four on four action for another 30 seconds before Arkansas has a power play of their own. Bell turns it over in front. Delisle in the slot. Takes a shot. Score! Corey Delisle! Another turnover by the Ice Bears leads to an Arkansas goal and they take the 2-1 to one lead. Woo pig. And man, Arkansas, that's something else that, man, in the past they just haven't been able to capitalize on those turnovers twice tonight. Tobias Scholin, Corey Delisle, two unassisted goals. That's how Arkansas is creating their chances, stealing those pucks away at the blue line. A great defensive play there by Delisle to steal that puck away and skate it into the zone for the goal. I mean, there was no chance, no chance that Stevens could have stopped that shot. I mean, he put that in the perfect spot. And they're still going to get about a minute 15 of power play here in about 23 seconds when Gratisar comes out of the box. We'll have four on four action until then. Yeah, it, it's good that they scored on the four on four, and then they're going to get a power play once Gratisar comes out of the box. I mean, this can't work out any better for Arkansas right now. Just kill off this last 23 seconds. Don't give up any good rushes for Missouri State. And the Bears control the puck. Schumacher in his own zone. 
He's going to skate it ahead himself. Arkansas blue line up the left side. Tries to make a move. Gets it back to his stick. Tried a backhand shot, but Brown was there to poke it away from him. Schumacher still with the puck. Sends it down low. Now out in front. Brown gets a shot. Rebound. Cleared away nicely by the Hogs. And they'll be on the power play for a minute 15. 9.54 left to play. And they're going to blow this one dead for an icing. Not a big deal. Arkansas will get at least one pair of fresh legs out on the ice. It looks like it's going to be Foster. That's somebody you want with it. Somebody who's fast and big. And, and there's nobody bigger and faster than Sean Foster on the ice. 26-year-old uh, 20, 26 year old, <laughs> 26 year old defenseman. Uh, you know, it's good to see him out there. He uh, he definitely uh, brings a different element that uh, Arkansas has been missing in the last couple of years. And they win the faceoff. Control now by Foskey. McClue pressuring him. Foskey skates him off. Still controls it now. He'll send it ahead to Gratisar. Now cross ice. Good passing. And they'll dump it there for Haddock. Haddock below the goal line makes a move. He's got Gratisar with him. Puts a stopping move on him. Back down low, finds Haddock. Back out front, court. Oh. Delisle just out of his reach, and Gratisar is going to chase this one down. Brock Thompson leaves it there for him. 40 seconds left on the power play. 9.20 left here in the third period. Arkansas with a 2-1 to one lead. Long pass ahead to find Brown right in the center, and he tries to step in, has a little slash, knocked him off the puck, but Brown keeps control of it. cross ice pass, Haddock back door, misses the net, but he gains control of the puck. He's going to send it near side corner for Brown. Brown controls it there. He's going to send it down low. Still trying to get it. B bounces out in front. Haddock chopped at it. But Fuller did a nice job tying him up. Glove down by oh. Haddock at the blue line. Foskey. Offside call. Try to back behind the back hand pass. Well, once that puck leaves the zone, it was in his glove, out of the zone, and then he tried to toss it back behind him. Uh, that was Jesse Foskey. And Arkansas will get a face off. Outside the Missouri State zone. And it's going to be Young to take it against Turin. <clears throat> and they'll straighten up the wingers. Foster lined up real wide on this one. Arkansas wins it back, and they'll send it across to Foster. Actually, Morris thought about it. He'll keep it himself as Missouri State read oh. that one. They get it into the zone. cross eyes pass to Matson back to five on five. 8.30 left, puck loose in front, taken away finally, picked up by Johansson. He's going to send one ahead. Arkansas gets in the way of that pass. This one gloved into the zone, and it's going to be sent ahead. In front, shot, blocked down in front by Foster. Nice job getting in the way of Thornton's shot. Comes to the near side corner. Arkansas tries to play this one out. Bouncing puck gets over a few sticks. Finally poked out of the zone. Good aggressive play by Sholin, but Missouri State's going to dump it back into the Arkansas end. Taken by Morris now. Moves out of the way of a check of Perrin. Off the glass now, out to center ice, and this one bounces over the stick, and Sholin's going to have to chase it down, but Brown is going to get to the puck first. Sholin pushes him off. Shoemaker, the Schumacher tried to get the puck out of the zone. Kept in by Arkansas. That's Sholin once again. Gets it down into the corner, and it's going to be taken now by Missouri State. They'll send it far side for Barrett. He's going to chip one ahead. He was looking for his man McClue, but it's taken away by Arkansas once again, trying to break out of their zone. Sammons circles back, out to center ice, Matson. He's got a man streaking far side, Pellegrino. Carries it into the zone, top of the circle, makes a move, puts on the brakes, hits a man, found Salmon, but it bounced just over his stick. And De La Guardia tried to jump, dump it back into the zone, and that one goes up off the net and out of play. 7.27 left here in the third period, Arkansas nursing a one goal lead. Been very impressed with the freshman for Arkansas. I mean, a plethora of freshmen on this team. Uh, uh, too many to count sometimes. <laughs> Seven or eight that are on the ice tonight, and uh, all of them have had a tremendous showing uh, here for the Ice Hogs. Missouri State gets the puck into the Arkansas zone as Bratton tried to get it in, but Pellegrino comes back the other way for the Hogs. He dumps it into the zone, being chased by Wilson. He's got Smith there with him. He kicks it ahead to Salmon below the goal line. Salmon on his backhand, looking to make a play. He'll cycle it back around, finds Wilson. Pellegrino in front. Good job on the back check. Breaking that up was Alex Wilson or Alex Smith. Backside now holding the puck. Couldn't get the shot away. And this is whistled dead. As we're going to have a penalty called on the play. Must be on an Arkansas player as they had the puck skating into the zone. No, there's not a penalty here. Hand I'm not pass? sure what they called. There's a referee making the call, so. 
Now we're going to face off either way. Still five on five. Second time that's happened to Arkansas on that in a very, very good chance. Oh, yeah. Just sitting down on the doorstep with the puck. And they blow it dead. Let's face off to the right of Stevens. Stovall in there to take it. Wins it to the sideboards. Haddock couldn't get it. This one kept in at the blue line momentarily. Finally chipped out. O'Brien coming back the other way. Sends it ahead just over the stick of Barrett as De La Guardia chases it down in the corner. He'll send it near side. Looking for Haddock. Sends it below the goal line. Foskey puts a body on a man as they send it far side. Comes back below the Arkansas goal line. Stovall with it. Now this one comes out in front as Stovall almost turned it over. Jordan Bratton pressuring hard, but Thompson, heady play, covers that up quickly. 6.36 left to play. I want to talk a little bit about Tobias Sholin's night tonight. He has been all over the ice, calling his name a little bit more than usual. It's exactly what we planned to see a couple of years ago, and he is delivering for the Arkansas Razorbacks tonight. And a face off control by Arkansas. And they try to send it far side to Haddock, stepping in front of that as Schumacher, though. Read that play the whole way. He'll dump it in, and the Bears will chase. Turn, gets it on a stick, tried to find a man in front, broken up by Stovall. Turn, tries to send it back down against uh, Foster. Sends it out, chipped ahead by Howes, picked up by Stovall. He's in a race. He's got Bell pestering him. And Stovall sends it back, a shot. Broken up nicely by Johansson on the back check. Comes in the near side boards now. Missouri State will control the puck. They'll send it far side. Take it now by Johansson. Sends it to Bell. He's got it on the Arkansas blue line. He sends it into the zone, but Turin was in ahead of the play and an offside called. 5.55 left here in the third. Arkansas still with a 2-1 to one lead. Yeah, Missouri State fans, uh, you can hear them. They are over there. Every time there's a, a little bit of uh, something going on, a penalty being called, they're very astute fans, really. They do a good job of knowing exactly what's going on on the ice. So, you know, props to them for following their programs. They got two of them just like Arkansas up there at Missouri State, and they certainly have a, a fun time. Brock Thompson steers the dump in aside, and Arkansas trying to break it out. They find Delisle up the boards. He's got one man to beat, takes a shot, misses the net high and wide, and De La Guardia is going to get a quick shot from the blue line. Another save there by Stevens. De La Guardia gets it in deep, finds Gratisar, tries to get one out in front. But a good job by Brown breaking that one up as Missouri State comes back the other way. Finds Brown on the outlet pass. Couldn't handle it. And that one goes off with the head of Gratisar and up and out of play. Face off. Back out at center ice. We've seen a lot of those tonight. That's yeah, strange, huh? 5.27 to play in this third period. Arkansas for five and a half minutes needs to play the same hockey. That's the thing. Arkansas, we've seen in the past, gets a little too conservative when they have these one goal leads. They need to make sure that they continue this pressure. Brown's going to dump it in. Foster chases it there. And he's going to get wow. the puck, sends it to the corner. Back out to Foster. He's going to have to gather it from behind him. He's going to take a hit, but he dances out of the way of the most of that. And Fuller's going to send it up the right side. Taken by Saunders. He sends one ahead. It's going to be chipped into the zone. Taken now by Lounder. He's got the puck. A kick save there by Thompson. Sa Saunders sends it out front. Fuller scores. And just like that, Missouri State finds the equalizer. That confusion, one of the probably three or four times Brock Thompson has been out of position tonight. Uh, this one takes a bad bounce off the backboards and uh, ends up uh, on the stick of a Missouri State player. Uh, and that puck just came flying out front, a perfect centering pass to Fuller, and Fuller was able to close the deal. He gets his second goal on the year. Saunders gets his first assist, and perhaps they give a, an assist to Chad Lounder as well would be his first points of the year. But with 4.57 left here in the period, we are tied at two. And face off one by Arkansas. And Matson is going to jump it into the zone. Left there for Young. Back to Sholin. Wow. Missed on the one-timer. Nice little tic-tac play. Just couldn't finish. This one kept in by Young. Down low, centering pass. Looking for Sholin. Broken up by Missouri State. Another turnover in front nearly as Schumacher has to regroup behind his own net. Matson. Putting the pressure on him. Finally sends it near side. Finds Johansson. Colin Young waiting on him. Finally makes him pass it off the boards. And this one well ahead of the target. And Arkansas is going to send it off the glass into the zone. It's going to be taken by Sholin. Tries to drop pass for Young. Young controls it there. Circles off a man. Outside hash now down into the corner. He's going to try to send it to his man. Broken up by Missouri State. 
And they're going to come back the other way. A pass ahead off of Barrett's stick into the zone. Barrett regains control. Centering pass broken up nicely by Young. Good hustle on the back check. And Arkansas has a chance coming back the other way. Madsen puts on the brakes. And he's going to send it off the boards to Salmon, who just came on the ice. He's going to dump it in. The rest of the Arkansas line will make a change. 3.53 left here in the period. As Missouri State sends this one down into the zone. Foster having trouble with it. Picked up by McClue on the backhand. Stops out in front. Rebound top of the crease. Finally cleared away by the Hogs. Pellegrino backhand pass to Salmon one-on-one. -on -one, loses the puck. Finally regains control. Outside tries to take a wide shot. Brown steers that one aside. And it comes to the near side boards. And the pass is just ahead of the Missouri State player as Foster regains control. Sends it near side for Morris. Morris, saucer pass. Finds a stick of Salmon. Carried into the zone. Bottom of the circle. Forced out wide, he'll take it. Send it back to the point to Morris. And this one just over the blue line. <laughs> oh, ooh. Morris wanted to let that one go, but I think the linesman saw a little bit of white on the other side of that puck. That's all it takes, so Arkansas. I think right here, you know, this is where you want to tell your guys if you're Coach Galini, you know, those tying goals can be certainly can be uh, – demoralizing for your team, but Arkansas has responded really well. They've had a couple of great shifts right after that. I want to see this Stovall line put one in the back of the net. They've been playing well all night, and you can't really pick out an Arkansas line that's been playing the best, all of them, from top to bottom. The young line uh, that we just saw with Madsen out there, they've, they've been stellar. Uh, you can't pick out just one line that has uh, done better than any other, and uh, as Stovall finally gets kicked out of the faceoff. So. Took a while. Missouri State does win this faceoff. They're going to send it near side. They find McClue, carries it in, drop pass for Bell. Toe drag move, gets it down to McClue, makes a move out in front, saved by Thompson. Start. And this one gets cleared to the corner. McClue regains control, being pinched into the boards by Howes, picked out by Stovall. He's got Haddock with him. Haddock makes a move, tripped up, gets a shot away, save. No call in the play. Rebound comes at the corner, being tied up. And the puck is, or the uh, net is off its moorings. The crowd really wanting a call. There are about 120 referees in here that all saw that, and the one that matters didn't call it. That's that's tough. I mean, Haddock, Haddock made a move. I'm not sure now. if he, he tripped himself by, by making the move. It was a great move. He just pucked just a little bit out in front of him, couldn't get enough on that shot, and a good save by Stevens and a good chance by the Hogs. And that net coming off of its moorings was Arkansas's doing, so this faceoff will come back outside of the zone. Tough breaks. Well, Arkansas can't let that get him down. Need to keep the pressure up, and Missouri State will look to do the same as the Hogs win the faceoff, but this one comes all the way back into the Hogs zone, and Foskey's going to have to chase it down, but Saunders is going to get in the way of that one, tries to send it down low, back out to the point, kept in by Schumacher. Now on the stick of Saunders, centering pass, broken up by the Hogs. This one is going to be poked ahead, just ahead of Delisle. It's going to be gathered in by Brown. He'll send it near side, chipped into the zone by Davis, but Arkansas sends it back down the other way, and... Uh, uh, excuse me, an icing call. And Arkansas will get a defensive zone faceoff. 2.26 left here to play. Whew. Good game here tonight. Oh, it's a fun one. You know, and this is what Arkansas uses to gauge themselves as well. I mean, they've been, uh, you know, over the past couple of years, yeah, Missouri State 3-1 and one against Arkansas last year. And they did it, you know, Arkansas did a valiant job trying to uh, beat this team. Uh, but, uh, you know, tonight you can see they're, they're dead even with them. And uh, Arkansas hoping to uh, get out of here with the victory. This puck tied up on the boards, cleared out. As Missouri State couldn't handle their own pass, so have to chase this down. Fuller, the goal scorer, picks it up for the Bears behind his own net. Arkansas is going to give him room to work. They were doing this in the first period, then attacking the pass. And it's chipped into the zone by Missouri State. Thompson comes out to play it. He'll send it off the near side boards. And a shot goes wide as Kovacic gathers it in on the far side. And a fight for it in the far side corner now. Bell's going to come away with it. He'll send it down low to Kovacic. Find the net centering pass. Nice wow. job by Thompson. Getting the paddle down on the ice. Blocks that one. <laughs> and Missouri State missed the uh, pass once again. And it comes all the way down a minute 40 left here in the period. Tied at two. The Ice Bears looking to break out. They do up the left side. Bell's going to dump it in deep turn. Chasing it down with Foster. Foster puts it off the boards to himself. Tries to poke it ahead once again. And it's finally kicked out of the zone by the Hogs. Bell's going to send this one back in. Not very deep, though, as this one's sent ahead to Haddock. 
He'll carry it up the right wing boards, forcing a man off the puck. Lost an edge, did get a shot away. Backhand chance, misses the net. Snowball's going to get the rebound, sends it back to Foster. One timer gets it through. Kick save there by Missouri State. Puck is cleared to the near side corner. It's going to be sent far side now. Stovall controls it there. Holding it, holding it, holding it. Finally has it poked away from him at the blue line. And Arkansas touches up for the offsides. And they're going to send it all the way down the ice as they should. That was an intentional offsides with 56.8 seconds left here in the third period. A 2-2 tie. Coming down to the waning seconds here. And they may bring this out to center ice rather than just outside the zone. And it's going to be the young line out there. They'll take the face off against Bratton. And Bratton wins it back to Schumacher. Tries to send it across, but Young intercepts the pass. Carries it into the zone, being forced out wide. He's got Matson. Tried to get a backhand pass to him. He does get it there. And Matson controls it. He tries to leave it there. And Schumacher forcing Young off the puck. And he'll kick it ahead. And it's going to be sent out of the zone. Arkansas gains control there. They'll dump it in. And clear the offsides, but Missouri State's going to gain control with 30 seconds left here in the third period. It's in far side, Johansson. Try to get it out of the zone. This one's going to be chipped up and out of play. 25.2 seconds left here in the third. We are tied at two. It's time to put your best guys out there on the ice. And you know what? Tonight, that's any of these guys. I mean, Arkansas has been absolutely stellar. I said it earlier on every single as aspect of this game. Uh, you can put anybody out there, they're going to go with Stovall line, sure. <laughs> Those are three guys, <laughs> yep. and they, they, uh, they're they bound to put one in eventually. And it's going to be Stovall versus McClue at center ice. Once again, 25.2 seconds left, and Stovall wins a faceoff. Foster with it. He's going to skate it ahead himself, finally does get a pass ahead. Tried to find Foster, had it just ahead of the play. Delayed off sides. This one comes back to the Arkansas end as Haddock's pushed off of his feet. And a centering pass finds McClue out in front. Bell tries to get a shot away. Another save by Thompson. The net is off of its moorings. Six seconds coming back the other way is Haddock. And they finally blow it dead. What a move by Josh Bell, but a great save by Brock Thompson. And then another paddle save on the follow-up. The net was off of its moorings as he made that second save. But the referee was going to give him a chance to get the goal in regardless. <laughs> but a great save by Thompson to perhaps force overtime. Man, Brock Thompson, stellar save on that. I thought Bell had him beat by a oh, mile. This, oh, it's a great move. Great I can't. Move. I cannot believe he got his paddle back to where it needed to be to poke that puck away. And that's he. Uh, there's a heated Brock Thompson. You know, he is calm, cool, and collected most of the time. And we'll see where this faceoff goes. Back Once again, ice. back to center ice. Well, Arkansas had a breakaway the other way. I mean, not a breakaway, but they had the puck going the other direction. Yep. 100%. I mean, that's something That's something they need to look at. I mean, A, they knocked, it, knocked the net off. Uh, Missouri State did. B, Arkansas had it in the offensive zone. So, yeah, Arkansas should feel a little ripped off here mm -hmm. after this great save by Thompson. They didn't blow it dead immediately. Why didn't they let him skate the other way? And his face off, chipped ahead by Missouri State. Two seconds left, and a shot by Foster goes all the way down, and we have overtime. Both these teams have one overtime game this year. Arkansas, a 1-0 record. Missouri State is 0-1. Uh-oh. <laughs> we'll see. It's either going to be 2-0, 0-2, or they'll even it up. So... We'll take a few minutes of a break here before overtime. What are you saying to your teams if you're each of these coaches, Jeremy Law or Brian Galini? If you're Coach Law over there on the Missouri State bench, you gotta you gotta tell your guys to, to play your game now at this point. I mean, you're in overtime now. This is something that uh, you work on all the time, you know, shorten benches, uh, things like that. Uh, you're gonna have your best guys out on the ice you're going to tell them, hey, there's going to be more ice out there. Play your game and focus on that. 
Arkansas, meanwhile, if you're Coach Galini, you're saying, yeah, you got to keep getting in their heads because that's exactly what's happening. They're, they are making Missouri State play to them, and that's what's causing those turnovers down in the, in the defensive zone. Believe it or not, you know, 60 minutes of, of people just coming at you like Arkansas has, and uh, that's what causes those mental breakdowns in your own zone. Now, granted, Arkansas's two goals have come in a different fashion than Missouri State's two goals. Um, Arkansas have come on a, on a couple of breakdown passes, so Arkansas has yet to create their own scoring chance via their offensive rush. They've created it on their forecheck and their neutral zone trap, but have yet to create one coming out of their own zone. Meanwhile, Missouri State has created on their own offensive chances, uh, They even though they've been a couple of you know, fluky goals in, in a way uh, where, you know, just the puck bouncing around and ending up in a in a different spot than where Thompson, you know, had anticipated. That's uh, that's where Missouri State's strength is, is getting him out of position. And it's really exciting with three on three overtimes here in the Love ACH. Hey, um, you know, this is where this is where the, the medal is made. If you're Arkansas, you put three guys out there that you think can win it for you. I'll tell you what, one of these goaltenders is going to have to come up big as Missouri State wins the faceoff. Control in three on three, ever important. Skated ahead now, into the zone, taken by Barrett, taken away by Gratisar. He's gonna send it off the boards. Foster just ahead of him, and Gratisar's down in the corner. He's hurt, he's getting up slow, but Missouri State is gonna have to clear the offsides as they regain control, 435. Left here, a three on three action. Controlled by Missouri State in their own zone, sent off the boards, this is Barrett. He's got McClue with him. Excuse me, that's O'Brien. Taking it in front, save, rebound, loose out in front. Chipped away by Arkansas. Foster can't win the race of the puck. Schumacher chips it in. Taken there by O'Brien. O'Brien back below the goal line. He's got a man far side, sends it off the boards instead. Arkansas gains control of this puck. 4-11 to play. And it looks like both teams will change at least one man. Held now by Foster. Four minutes to play. He'll send it near side. Not a great pass for Stovall. Has to turn back for it but gets into the Missouri State zone, puts on the brakes, a move between oh. the legs, tries to step out in front, goes below the goal line, circles around instead. He's got Haddock and Gratisar out there with him, finds Gratisar, top of the point, holding it, finally sends it down off the boards, trying to find Stovall, and they turn it over here, taken by O'Brien, now 340 left to play. O'Brien's going to leave it for Bell, Kovacic out there with them as well, sent near side for, man, quick shot and a save by Brock Thompson, Chris Brown. The defender, not usually down that low. Quick wrist shot and a glove save by Brock Thompson. We've seen that glove before. Gratisar took a big shot down there. Good to see him get right back up and skate an entire shift. As he's slow to get sit down right now, but uh, you know Arkansas on that one, uh, you know just out of position. Gratisar's man was the guy on the nearest side of the bo boards. I think he just had a little bit of a mental lapse and uh, gave up a good chance there to the offender, Chris Brown. And Bratton wins the face off. Back to Johansson. He'll send it back low, looking for Bratton. Arkansas trying to break it up. Sent cross ice now. Finds Turin. Turin sends it out in front. Johansson can't handle the puck as he's being pressured by uh, House. Steps out in front, gets a shot, kick save. Rebound comes near side. Held there. Sent back to the point. Turin with it, almost lost an edge. And Arkansas has his stick being held in front. I think he's trying to draw a penalty wow. there. I think Howes trying to make a move, almost turned over in front as Johansson got a stick on that one. Uh, Foskey picks it up, turns it over in front though, taken by Bratton. He's being forced off the puck, spins around Howes, and it's gonna be poked below the goal line by Haddock. 2.45 left to play, Haddock finally picks this one up. He's gonna circle back around. Arkansas changing a man. They send it off the near side boards. Going to be Foskey, tried to send it ahead, looking for Sholin, who just came out on the ice, and he's got some fresh legs, winning the race of the puck, but being forced off by a big body. And Sholin's going to get in the way again, tries to get it out in front, he does. This one's going to be flipped down the ice by Stevens, and it's going to be picked up by Foster once again. He'll send it near side. He's got Stovall, carried across the blue line, top of the circle, puts on the brakes, finds Sholin in front, puck cleared aside. He's got Foster in front, finds him, still loose, takes a shot, yeah! yeah! Sean Foster! What a pass by Tobias Sholin, and Arkansas wins the game in overtime. I was looking for a celebration for Foster, but he was so calm, cool, and collected after that goal. Oh, what a shot. Great pass in front. Sholin able to find him, and he puts it in the back of the net. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Great win for the Hogs. And we get to do it again tomorrow. Bailey Stevens giving up his third goal of the night, but nothing to hang his head at. He played great this evening, just on the wrong end of that one. And on the other end, Brock Thompson gets his fifth win of the season. And Arkansas will carry some momentum into, to, to, into tomorrow's 4.30 p.m. game. Awesome, awesome game for the Arkansas Razorbacks. Uh, exciting, too. Back and forth. Tug of war. That's exactly the type of game that Arkansas needs to make out of every single WCHL matchup. I mean, they got to make it a dirty game in some ways. I mean, that, and they play so well whenever they, they play that style. It, it seems like their passing is crisper because what they've done is they've worn down the other team. I mean, it's been, it was a long, you know, a semi-long bus trip there for Missouri State coming down. They probably came down this afternoon on the bus and, uh, you know, probably practiced this morning in their own facility came down here and uh, played a game so you know maybe some bus legs coming out early I uh, got caught off guard by what Arkansas was doing next thing you know just quick hitters one two three Arkansas continued to try to put that puck on the net and Arkansas's goals all came in, a, in a, just just the most hogs way possible they did such a good job of, of getting the puck in front of the net creating frustration on the defensive end for Missouri State and the Ice Bears just didn't have an answer for it. that's that was something that was so remarkable that we haven't seen so far this year for Arkansas. So props to the, the Coach Galini for getting this team in chip shape. And uh, they've uh, really locked down uh, a good win here in the WCHL. Great win tonight. And once again, we'll do this again tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. We will be back for the call of that game for my cameraman, Quinn Shields, EJ Sanders, Arkansas.